nothing else, no one else but you, Jesus. I desire nothing else, no one else but you, Jesus. I desire nothing else. Come on, come in with him. Come on, lift your voice and come in with him. Orele da magle da siza. Ola ramele no kuba. Jarane no beri de sabanga de la tia sasa. Jadera ne mo kudo kore ne ro na mo zole. in this call that you can know him that in this faith you can come to a point and realize that some one plus one would be equal to something it is no magic it can be worked praise God so as we gather together let this be our quest somebody will say that why why is knowing God so, so important to you? I realize that if you don't know God, you will not even know yourself. 
<laughs> knowing yourself starts from the place of knowing God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we must come to this place where our desire, our yearning is to know Him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can we do Luke chapter 24? And let's do verse 45. I think it will be good to start on this note. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Look chapter 24 and verse 45. Look Very quickly. 24, 45. So that's how we are beginning the, the service. Yes, dear. And he opened their minds to the understanding the scriptures. And he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. Praise God. Let's go back to 27. Oh. And beginning with Moses and the prophets, he interpreted to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Continue. So they drew near to the village to which they were going. He acted as if he as if he were going. Sorry. He acted as if he were going further. But they urged him strongly, saying, Stay with us, for it is towards evening, and the day is far is now far spent. So he went in to stay with them. 30. When he was when he when he was at the table with them, he took the bread and, and blessed and broke it and gave it to them. And their eyes were open. Now, you see, something very amazing is in the scripture. In verse 27, the Bible says that Jesus Christ met them. And what he did was that right from Genesis to Revelation, Jesus Christ began to explain the process of scripture in relation to himself. Jesus pointed to them that he's the theme of scripture. He pointed to them that he's the message of the prophets. He pointed to them that he's the message of the sound. Oh my God. But when he was about to leave, they said that it was late. Then the Bible said that he stayed with them. And as he stayed, scripture says that he broke bread for them. And scripture says their eyes were opened. Oh. You see, there is a, an opening beyond this opening. So in trading verse 45, scripture says that what he now did was that he opened their minds. Now that they would understand the scriptures. You see, when God opens our eyes, many of us will realize that we have preached amiss. <laughs> we realize that the interpretation we gave the scripture was not true. You see, we need to be filled with the Holy Ghost such that if I'm in Ghana and I'm interpreting the scriptures and somebody is in Afghanistan and is interpreting the scriptures, our setting might be different. Our illustration and examples might be different. But the core, the core of the message must be the same. Praise God. So that if you pick two doctors, one from Ghana and another from China, 
you can keep them in, in a surgical ward. They don't know each other, but they can perform a surgery on someone. Sometimes when you are going to hospital, they ask you their, your, your history. And you, if, you, if you're able to give it to them, they are able to read what their colleague doctors have written and they can say that I get it. Sometimes they can even take the number of that doctor and find out, here, what were you saying? The call must be the same. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we are talking about the word of God, I explained that in the scriptures, we saw that even donkeys spoke. We saw people raping their siblings. We saw two of the sons of Noah exposing, one exposing his father's nakedness. So a lot of things are in this Bible that are historic by nature. So there are some of it that their practicality in this time might be difficult. If you are taking it literally, praise God. So one of the things to understand is that there are things that are descriptive and there are things that are prescriptive in the word. Yeah. Now, oh God, I don't know why we are starting this way. You see, if you read a book like Ezekiel chapter 16, you're going to find an amazing scripture where the Lord speaks about a virgin, a child that he himself <laughs> bathed with salt, water. He cleaned the blood. He, took, he spoke about how he dressed this maiden. Then he said, he even put earrings on his ear, in his ear, and even gave him her nose rings. If the proper understanding of the word of God is not gotten, the sisters in the church will just leave church and go and buy nose rings. <laughs> but what he was saying goes beyond the literal thing. That is why it is the word of God. It is not just the word from God. It is the word of God. So that the interpretation thereof would always be dependent on the God. <laughs> you see, it is the word of God. If you take out the of God, most of the things you'll be saying will be trash. Hey. He opened their minds to understand the scriptures. It is one thing reading, reading for routine. And it is another studying as he inspires you. And our prayer, our prayer, our prayer is that God place in us an inspiration of the spirit. Jesus said that when the Holy Ghost comes, he shall reveal unto us all that he's taught us. You see, the central message of the Holy Ghost is Christ. Hear me. The central message of the Holy Ghost is what? What God wants to give you is not to tell you that you get married on 14th of February. It goes beyond that. Oh, Genesis. That one, God does not even have to say it. A man can say it and it can be so. Oh, man, no, Sumai. Kaya. We have reduced prophecy. God name it. So, if the Holy Ghost is the author of scriptures, then I believe that you would agree with me that it is obvious that what you will be talking about in the scriptures <laughs> is Jesus, the one he came to reveal. So, when Jesus comes, he reveals the spirit. When the spirit comes, he comes to point us to Christ. When Jesus walked earth, he said, I know you've heard many things. But there's also been many misrepresentations of the Father. Whatever you see me do. <laughs> he 
comes and he tells you, I and my father, we are one. One day he said, anyone who has seen me, has seen the father. Church, the word of God. The word of God is not abstract. The word of God is not sentences. The word of God is a person. You have not started understanding the scriptures If you have not met him in the scriptures Hear me You have not started understanding the scriptures If you have not met him Maybe when I was saying that he opened your minds to understand You are saying but I have been preaching But I get it Oh the word of God is more than an information the word of God is more than an information in the Bible. The word of God is a person. The word of God is a person. Hey. You see, you see. Suffice me to say this this evening that this Bible contains the word of God. Did you hear what I said? So, people use this to chant, do you know? People read this to go and pass exams, do you know? There are some people who realize that one of the simplest ways to get into the, the military and all is to have a certificate. So they try enrolling in a, in a theological school and where maybe learning might not be as rigorous as other academic institutions and they will get a, a certificate from an accredited institution and they will take it to school. So people are studying this to pass exams. It doesn't mean they've met him. So, you see, in the United States, there are states. <laughs> Hear me. This, sometimes we call it the word of God. But when the word of God actually appears, we realize that this contains the word. Don't worry, even if you don't understand me. <laughs> One day you would understand it. Because there is so much here that even people have even used against us. But you see, come to think about it. Preach about Titan without Jesus and you realize that you preach a bunch of contradiction. Preach about healing without coming to a place of, of God. And you'll be amazed what you spew. The word. The word of God. So John in John chapter 1 and verse 1. John said that in the beginning was the word. And John in trying to tell us. He said and the word was with God. Then look at what he said. He said and the word was God. Mm. Family, look at something. I thought this is the word of God. And holy men were inspired to write it. John is speaking and John is saying the word of God. This word actually was with God in the beginning. Then this word outdates those who were inspired to write. Hey. Do you understand what I'm saying? This word existed. Like if you read the book of Philippians, the word of God existed before the book of Philippians. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh. Oh. 
then it's amazing how John by revelation writes this that without him was nothing made that is made eh? so that if everything was made by the word then how do you give credit then to someone that he wrote the word so you realize that the word of God is more than a paragraph the word of God is more than a chapter you see that is why you need the spirit of the Lord to understand understand this thing you study or else I, I quoted a scripture from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 12 he said I know this that of making many books there is no end then he said much study is worrisome to the flesh and I wonder did the scriptures not say that study to show yourself approved a workman who needs not be ashamed but rightfully dividing the word of truth how then is much study is worrisome to the flesh then the Lord gave me an answer it is worrisome to the flesh because it is the flesh you are using to study it oh you realize that when you are using the spirit of the Lord to study the scriptures, you can sit there and ah, and it looks like it's five minutes. You can go two hours, but check the days that you are using your flesh. It's like you can't comprehend it. So the people who have been saying that they sit behind the Bible nine hours, when they stand and they tell you we, we study the Bible nine hours, you say in your mind that they are lying. Because you can't imagine 30 minutes behind the way. Oh, God, bring us to a place where your spirit has taken charge of us that we may see the word in this word. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever the church has been in error all these years, I'll lend them aside. Error is an indication that somebody stepped away from the spirit and gave an interpretation. Oh my God. But we pray that as we brood on the scriptures, as, as we stay at your feet, let there be a renewal of strength unto the word. Let, let us encounter the person of the word. Ayana Namasai. See, we have prayed many prayers. When we begin to know the word, the prayers will change. The man that wrote more than two thirds of the New Testament himself said that I may know him. La brada sono masai, la baya bai, ya 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 You have been satisfied too early. You have been satisfied too early. Where as there is more. Lord, bring us here. How come the men that have encountered him always say that they feel they've not started yet? How come some have worked with him for 50 years and they still feel there is more? Recently, I heard Pastor Benin say that he had gotten himself a new teacher. To teach him the Hebrew and the Greek language again. <laughs> and, and I was amazed. Papa Deboe, he said he has not started yet. Could it be that those of us who think we have started, could it be we've not met him? Could it be we have been satisfied too early? Yabaya Daselis. Yesterday I was preaching somewhere in the evening I was telling them that many of us have become like men who have the portrait of someone and we are okay. We are satisfied. 
Even when the person is standing by us, we are still hang, hugging the portrait when the real person is there. Many of us, a glimpse, have satisfied us too early. Come unto the waters. Come and drink. Come and drink of God. You know, sometimes you feel too big for certain meetings because you are satisfied too early. You, know, you think you know everything about John 3.16. I tell you, take it again. And you realize that there is more. I tell you, reciting a verse is different from knowing a verse. With a, a good mentor, with, with, with a good person to look up to, with, with a bit of intellect, oh, Malana Masai, with a desire, you can start your journey onto memorization. You can start. But listen to me. In as much as memorization is powerful, there is something more than that. That I may know him. That I may know him. The power of his resurrection. The fellowship of his suffering. Alano shamaya namasa. Abala balaba. Rabala nanamatai. Rabana makombala. Ibantina malatai. We can encounter the word by the spirit of God. Ayabana makosha. Rabala oh God so this evening this is by way of introduction that family there got to be more than this there got to be more there got to be more Lord from this meeting raised teachers of the word raise students of the word from this meeting raise people who shall long for your word David said I desire the word more than my necessary food it might start with knowing about him but don't end there get to know him get to know him get to know him get to know him don't settle for goosebumps don't, don't settle for falling don't settle for that so you fall down and what's next there is more there is more what God does is more than pushing people down. There is more than that. I'm not saying you will not fall. You will fall. But after rising is the issue. Abala basaya. Rabana mataya. God bring us here. Bring us here. Bring us here. Let us not do guesswork behind the pulpit. Let us get to know him. You see, where the world is getting to, there are many questions on the minds of people <laughs> that coming to joke would never answer them. The questions on the minds of people, there are so much. People are confused. Should we pay tithe or not? Some people are even asking, do we give tithe or we pay tithe? Some people are asking. That's why you say that he is the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. So when Jesus was here and he was saying the Father, who was he speaking to? There are things. But see, sometimes people intentionally ignore their doubts. It doesn't mean they are convinced. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get what I said? Yes, sir. They ignore their doubts. It doesn't mean they are convinced. They just feel like in a meeting like this, if I lift up my hands, hands to ask him this question. Sometimes people don't even ask their questions out of mercy. They don't want to embarrass you. That's why we must, we, we must come to a place of studying. Where we are knowing about him and we are not ending there, but we are getting to know him. Because you see, he has placed himself in the confines of his word so that the more of the word we are getting into our spirit the more of the knowledge of him we are ar arriving at and the more we get that the more we get close to knowing him I didn't say the more we know him <laughs> family the Lord bring us here I pray for us that from this evening through to tomorrow 
we shall come to this place of openness with the scriptures we have spoken about things but I pray that the Lord speaks to us we, we call on the altar of the scriptures the, the Holy Spirit to invade this meeting and let, let his word abound let insight, illumination and revelation let our eyes be touched with, with eyes salve in this meeting as we worship, as we pray as we study the word as we listen to messages may we not stop there Let the entire atmosphere be taken by the Lord. We've not come for talent. We've come for Jesus. We have not come for routine. We've come unto Jesus. Grant unto us insight. Lord, you have taught men the word. And we ask that you teach us also. My desire, Lord, is that everybody that will be here by the time we are through with this gathering Lord let your word let your word let your word come alive help us help us help us help us sometimes when we think about the help of God we think it that is going to help us to become something we we want to be to to become rich and to get married but no this holy spirit when he comes he would point us back to the scriptures lord open us to the scriptures I see the scrolls open. I see, I see the scrolls open all over here. It's like it's like a completely different setup. Today, let him who is thirsty come and drink. Let he who is hungry. Only you, Lord, can satisfy us. We come. In the name of Jesus. Lord, take the stage and have your way. We are just vessels, nothing more. When you're done, take all the glory. We are satisfied just to see you glorified. The tangibility of your presence all over this place. Heal in our midst. Raise men in our midst. Plant your word in our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to lift up your voice wherever you are, speaking the language of the Spirit. You want to blast in the language of the Spirit. Rapanto shada da da basai ayanto shana namatai rabasho debele ne mesai arada da 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 basai ayada da da basai abalabra da basai arada da 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 basa ba ya ba rabada da da basa balabra ayata balabra da basa balaba ayada balabra da basa ba ayada da da basa balaba ayada balabra da basa balaba ayada balabra da basa ba ayam talaba ya ba ayabanda balabra da basa ayada da da Sabalaba, I am Tata, Aranta, Tata, I am Tata, Talabai, I am 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 Talabai, Pi, 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 Pi,
in the name of Jesus I want to say this prayer before the woman of God AC comes on I want us to say this prayer that the Lord will strengthen us the Lord will strengthen us there is a kind of strength that the Lord is able to release in your mortal body you see there are many things that we give glory to the body for but it goes beyond that there's a dimension of consistency you see that goes beyond the efforts of the flesh you see no man can do anything unless it's given him from above and there are things that are just received from God something can drop into your spirit and there will be this unusual strength to stay through many a times in a meeting like this you can easily choose your part <laughs> You can choose the path that is powerful. But I'm beginning to be very careful about these things. You see, the body of Christ is always conscious when we are closing a meeting late. But we are not conscious when we are starting late. It's like it's not a big deal. But when it's like we are supposed to close at 9 and it is 10, then it's like we are uneasy. But when we are supposed to start at 9, it means nothing to us. And we need to watch it. We need to watch it that God will be in an auditorium like this. And we'll be outside with men. We need to check it. Many a times our theology is distorted. That is producing that kind of lifestyle. And I told some of you that the devil can distract you with the least thing. But I think that in this 24 hours some phone calls can wait. In this a day with him certain things like just take it upon yourself that I'm going to pray like I've never prayed before I'm going to study like I've never done I'm going to worship like I've never done so I want to pray to God that Lord you created sleep for man Lord but we have chosen by your spirit that we will stay up for you grant unto us the needed strength the capacity to wait. Oh. Breathe, Lord. Just say that prayer and I'm done. Just say that prayer that Lord breathe. Lord breathe. Lord breathe. There is a spirit in man. Oh, Shabbala Daba Saba. And the inspiration of the Almighty. Give it him understanding. Give me an understanding to wait. Let me not look at man. Let me look to you. Hey. I've come to be with you. I've come to be with you. There are days you go to visit men. I know some houses that if you visit them, you cannot be on phone. When you are speaking to the father of the house, you can't even be on phone, man. But today, Lord, I've come. Hey, I've come. Oh, help me to stay. Help me to learn. Help me, help me with a capacity to wait. Let my generation come alive to wait on you. Ya bala bala basa ya bala ba Ya dala basa ya bala ba La bala bala basa bala ba Hey 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 Let every minister that comes here see the Lord Let every minister that picks this microphone minister by the spirit Let every minister that steps here come from the place of the spirit Alini mi kula na namatai Let this atmosphere be taken by the spirit of God Holy Spirit in this house there are no restrictions for you 
in this house there are no restrictions there are no restrictions when somebody even touches the doorknob let there be an impartation when somebody sits down let there be an impartation when somebody breathes in let there be an impartation oh god oh god have your way have your way lord have your way when somebody sips water let there be a revival let there be a revival lord we have had meetings where we have limited you we've limited you with experience we've limited you by time we have limited you by doubt oh shabala namasaya but lord in this meeting lord do it invade hearts lord you can interfere at any time you can interact at any time you can intervene at any time holy spirit just breathe take this keyboard and breathe on it take this microphones and breathe on it take these cameras and breathe every portal everything lord for this use breathe on us we humble ourselves If we can do this in truth and in spirit, we'll be amazed of the outcome. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we can do this in truth and in spirit. If we can do this in truth and in spirit. We'll be amazed, we'll be amazed, we'll be amazed. Ha! We'll be amazed, we'll be amazed of the outcome. We'll be amazed, we'll be amazed of the outcome. Hey, come on, you tie. Kabasuma payate. Ratusunu tuata. A bikina tubasai. Rutomito sate. Rapasotai kita. A beno sutomata. Oh God, would you have your way in this place? Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Let there be a move of the Spirit. Those who are connecting online, let it not just be a technological connection, but let it be a connection of the Spirit. Let the presence of the Lord that will be here be there also. Let there be a transference of grace and strength. Let men stay awake behind every medium that they are watching this on. And Lord, please when you are done Bernard is not worthy of the glory no man is take all the glory let there be order let distractions disappear and teach us to see we bless you Lord in Jesus name Amen. So family, I want to humbly welcome everybody officially <laughs> to a day with him. This, the July edition. We are on from now till tomorrow at six. You can share the link with someone. You can share the flyer with someone. Please invite somebody. Tell somebody we are on. Tell somebody we are live. Tell somebody we've started. Tell somebody that this is the place to be. Let's receive the woman of God, AC. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall I please rise to our feet? Even as we worship. You just want to close your eyes. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus, more of you. 
Sincerely, the more I know you, the more the more I want to know you, Jesus. More of you. The more I know you, the more I want to know you. The more I know you, the more I want to know you every day. Oh, oh, oh. 
says, let your father hear your voice. Oh, Father, wrap this in your arms. Wrap this in your arms, Lord. Yes, wrap me in your arms. Because in your arms we find comfort.
want to lift your hands. to learn together and sing together. Amen. So it's very simple. It goes like this. Show us the ancient paths. Lead us along eternal highway. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. That's all. Show us the ancient paths. Lead us along eternal highway. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. So we go, let's try. Show us the ancient paths. Lead us along. Lead us along eternal highway. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Let's go again. Show us the ancient paths. Lead us along eternal highway. To follow the footsteps of Jesus, we want to enter your rest. Let's try again. Show us, show us the ancient paths, lead us along eternal highway. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Let's try again. Let's try again. Show us. Show us the ancient path. Lead us along eternal highways. Lead us along eternal highway. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Let's try again one more time. Show us. Show us the ancient path. Lead us along eternal highways. Lead us along eternal highways. We want to, we want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your rest. Let's try again. Show us, show us, show us the ancient path. Lead us along. Lead us along eternal highways. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your. Let's try again. Show us the ancient path. Show us the ancient path. Lead us along eternal highways. Lead us along eternal. Footsteps of Jesus, follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter your show us the ancient paths. Come on, show us the ancient paths. Lead us along eternal highways. Lead us along eternal highways. We want to follow the footsteps of Jesus. We want to enter. Lead us, lead us, lead us on. 
over for some time. I just hummed it and hummed it away. And then just when I realized, I was like, ah, aren't, aren't you singing a new song? Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. So this song is from my heart. You are amazing. You are
restoration. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Open my heart. Open my heart. And my ears. Onto your word. Open my heart. Open my heart. And my ears. Onto your word. Onto your word. Or should we say, let my heart be open. Let my heart be open. Let my heart be open. To receive your word. 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 Wherever you are, Mako Sada Dabayatai, Rapado Sanana Mapaya, Rapeno Senemetai. I need you to lift up your voice, Madaya Daba. Do you know that wherever any two or three shall gather together in his name, he is there? Do you know God is in our midst? Valimi Sunamataya, Rabina Talia Tusumai, Rebasumu Pandes, Rabanto Shamaya, Rapaya Dada Daba Sante, Leme Kuma Bai, Rabina Sanenemesa, Rapana Tomitene, Rapeno Sanenemete, Rabanto Shabaya, Arado Santaya. Oh, lift up your voice, Arabo Shimamai, Radantanaya, Rabina Pande Besuata, Apina Loa Tende, Abrada Dada Dai, Rabi Sunamatai, Rabanto Samaya, Rabana Namate, Rabino Sananana, Rabba Samayate, Rabana Makubai, Rabino Samea, Rabina Tayaya, Rabba Yamaya, Rabeno Saya, Apaya Bai, Apaya Bai, Apaya Yai, Rabana Nai, Rabba Suata, Apeko. Saya, Rapana Nanai, Rapana Meko, Rapana Nanai, Rapana Nameko, Yadana Dabasai, Rapaya Pai, Rapaya Pai, Rapaya Pai, Rapaya Pai, Rapaya Pai, Rapala Pai, Rapapa Pai, Rapanda Bai, Rapanda Bai, Rapanda Bai, Rapanda Bai, Ayadada Dai, Rapandosa, Rapana Messai, Bila Basonda Bayaba. Oh God, Samaya na 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 ma bai, Rapado sheme na 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 na, Ipale na na mesua tai, Rapalo subai, Rapalo subai tai, Rapada da 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 basai, Rapanto Samaya na na na, Rapana na 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 matambe. Rapina maya basuma, rapini mikau saba, pada pada blanda basaba. Hallelujah, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. We are we are we are pressing in. I I came in to lift a prayer. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see. Whatever God has established that prayer can fetch you, laziness would not be a replacement for prayer. You see, what prayer will give you, laziness cannot put in your hands. The truth about the matter is that you can pretend you are praying. You can be in God's house and not participate in the fellowship of the Spirit. 
You see, if you are not careful, you, would, you can even go to a prayer room and not pray. Because the line of deception is very faint. But I want to lift a voice of prayer. That Lord, as we come to wait on you, let this not be a routine. Let this not be the usual. But bring me to a place of prayer. Bring me to a place of an encounter. Bring me to this place as we worship, as we study your word, as you open the pages of scripture to me. Lord, let something be shifted in me. In the name of Jesus, this is that atmosphere to go three hours in prayer. This is that atmosphere to go five hours in prayer. This is that atmosphere to stay at his feet and build capacity. Want to pray to God, the Lord strengthen me. We have said that you see You can even preach about prayer and not pray You can tell us the scriptures on prayer First Corinthians First John chapter 5 and verse 14 The confidence we have in him That whatever we ask in his name According to his will he hears us Verse 15 If we know he hears us We know we have the things we have asked You can know all this and still not pray Lord, bring us, bring us, Lord. Yada basaya, yaba labrada basaya, labrado sene ne mete. Lord, bring us here. Some of us, our praying means our disciples will pray. Our praying means our leaders will pray. If only we can pray, our family will pray. Our sons and daughters, they will pray. Our friends will pray. God, bring me here. Jesus said it is one thing that is needful. 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 Lord, as we stay at your feet, cause me to pray. Cause me to stay with you. Ya bala brada basamba ya nananai romanto shananamai ya dala la la basai rapina malapantene walantene meneme rapina mayatai rapana mababai rapano shamayata rapaya ayaba rapana nanamapai arada dadadai rapaya bala bai this is a place of waiting. This is a place of brooding. Let me not settle for attendance. But Lord, I come for an experience. I come for an encounter. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that God opens our eyes to see him in this place. US. She came straight from the airport and she entered. So I was thinking that we should get her a place to sleep a little. But she just entered the meeting and she was on the first hour she was on the second the sixth hour she was still there so i tapped in i told her i want you go and rest a little she said i didn't fly 18 hours from the u.s to ghana to come and sleep that's what the young lady told me she said i didn't fly all the way from the u.s to a day with him just to come and sleep I believe that when you go home, you have better beds than, than the student's mattress here. I believe that there is something in your place that is better than here. But you see, you have come to God. You have come to the place of God. And this evening, through to tomorrow, see, it is greater than the ministration he does unto men. Oh, I pray. You see, we can be walking around and they'll be calling us Papa. And we can struggle with one hour on our knees. I tell you, I tell you, you can be lifting up prayers and you can be struggling with 15 minutes on the Bible. Huh. You can be noted as a great apostle and struggle with 6 to 12 fasting. I'm not kidding. So if you settle for that zone, you play along. 
and you have the result of playing but I pray that the Lord would do something to us I, I, I was just about saying that I pray that the Lord will wound us something to, sh to shift in our waist something to shift in our bodies it should shift in our bellies that we can stand and it is all about him we can stand and the focus is him we can stand and the focus the understanding everything is God God bring me there even those of us who are moving around working don't let the work distract you don't choose ministry above God you see there is the work of God and there is the walk with the Lord you can work and not walk see you can do so many things you can even be on billboards people can love to hang around you and you know that you are struggling and you see that zone is serious because imagine everybody knows you to be praying and you are not praying who do you tell like we are coming here some people see us and when we step out hey these people they are strange oh. and imagine we just come to doze off imagine Jesus climbed up with them but when they got there they slept I'm sure those down there were saying that ah, God bring us here I want to do Christianity and when I enter heaven Peter said there are some who shall receive a rousing welcoming like when your name is mentioned they just stand up and say oh you we've been looking for you you we've been waiting are you the guy how many hours did you pray on earth you are amazing you know, Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul could say that I thank God I, I speak in tongues more than all of you. He taught, he taught about tongues. But see, he was not thanking God he taught about tongues. He was thanking God he spoke in tongues. May we not settle for the letter. For the letter killeth. Amen no no imagine people are using your recording to pray and you are struggling to pray imagine people are preaching the message you preach and you are struggling to keep with the words you spoke listen to me for you to pretend to be a Christian then it is better to be an unbeliever <laughs> Amen and Messiah. did you hear what I said for you to just hang around us and all of this is pretense then it is better you hit the club right now it is better you enjoy the comfort of the club but David said for me I have set the Lord God always before me I have set him always before me I have somewhere I want to get to it has not yet appeared what we shall be but one thing we know and it is that when he appears we shall be just like him I realize that some arguments with our parents are not needed like you are here and you go and they tell you why are you coming here why are you why are you always going there you want to pray why it's just simple your results will handle your insult the moment you are there you tell mommy mommy your leg your leg ma you pray for her and she's fine the next time tell her you are going for a prayer meeting and listen to the response it will be I will go with you we have explained ourselves too much God bring us there see this thing I'm telling you it's difficult you see I realize that the anointing when it comes on you it won't work did you hear what I said the anointing when it falls on you it won't work to do so if you know how to do something if you be very honest with me if you know how to do something and somebody is standing there and I said 
but you are told you are the next. It's like, because anointing new page, because of the anointing, yokes are broken. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it takes a lot of discipline to be anointed and still say that I'm going to stay at the feet of the master. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on him. I'm going to wait to be empowered. I'm going to wait to be endued with strength. I'm going to build capacity. What if we all decided that before we preach about prayer, we are going to pray at least 10 hours? What if? What if? Oh, family, you want to lift up your right hand with me? Say that, oh God, nothing nothing less than your standard less than your standard say that oh god oh god oh say that oh god oh god i refuse, I refuse. anything, anything. Below, below your standard i'm not settling for less lord i will do it i will do it i will do it lord i will do it i seek you with my all Say that, oh God, strengthen me to pursue you, to pursue you, to pursue you in the name of Jesus. It is not a waste of time. It is not a waste of time. I want to dwell at your feet. Amen, Messiah. Labrado suto masevra ikasunatai. Lord, as we wait, invade us. As we wait, invade us. As we wait, invade us. Atene Messiah, we are your sacrifice. We are your sacrifice. Consume us. We are your sacrifice. We are your sacrifice. Consume us. Oh, my Yadabasa. A song is not what you have required. Ayana na Messiah. Rabina Messiah. Lord, as we wait, as we wait. Alilia. I wish some of us can come to this point where we say that Lord I don't know the song to sing to move them I don't know it I don't know it I don't know the words that will move them if you do not go before me, I'm not making a move. If you do not speak, I'm not speaking. Oh, what if every sermon came out of the place of prayer? What if every sermon came out of the place of waiting? A prayer, a rapanta, imam pai. Oh, hey, lina sumai. I want you to close your eyes. Just speak in tongues with me for just a minute. Speak in tongues. Speak in tongues. Don't just hang around those who pray. Pray. Don't, don't, don't just sit around those who pray. Pray. Rabina Sunananai. If I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto myself. We don't do the drawing, he does. Ya balabada basaba, ya rabasora, sabale ne me koshe ne mai, ramababan tebele ne mesai. Rabanto shenema pai, Ramendo shenena metai, Arabado shanana matai, Rabanto shanamanai, Arabada basantana ma. Heaven has a camera. It captures truth. It captures spirit. Ayabala tai. It captures truth. It captures spirit. I said heaven has a camera. It captures truth. It captures spirit. Hey. Alene mesai. Family, as I hand over the microphone to the man of God, please listen to me. I've said this with some of you that you know, God's standard for true worshipers is truth and in spirit. You see, God will not lower the standard because it's a day with Him. 
God will not lower the standard because you are famous. It can be an uneducated person. If the person is worshipping in truth and in spirit. It can be in the village. If it is truth and in spirit. It can be in an essay. If it is truth and in spirit. The father seeketh such. I tell you. I tell you. I don't know if you are realizing. The generation is getting tired of big names. I don't know if you are realizing. People are getting tired of the norm. People are getting tired of the sophistications. People are beginning to yearn. They are beginning to yearn for what is real. Oh. Moses could have gone just like that. But Moses said, when I go and they ask that who sent me. Listen to me. The world knows you have come, but they will ask who sent you. The world knows that you are there, but they want to know who sent you. Because the one that sent you backs you up. The one that saw oh, Matthew the Messiah, these signs and wonders shall follow. Those who believe, those who believe, there is something that follow them. Hey, God, bring me there. Bring me there. Let them not call what we do noise. Let the power thereof handle their comments. Oh, me na my son, then the Messiah. They are insulting us. Let, let, let the results handle them. Oh, God's word is like hammer. Oh, my dear Messiah. His word is active. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. How be it that you have done 10 years Christianity without sitting behind your Bible even for a day? How have you survived? Alama Suma Nananai. Rapa, how have you survived? Anana Masema Yatai. Rapana Masaya. It's okay, you receive an invitation and you tell them you can't honor it because you are not prepared. It's okay. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear me? It's okay, it's okay. That the same night somebody was going to give you 5,000 CD for administration, you chose to stay in the closet because you were not going to go. David said, if your spirit does not go with me, I'm not making a move. I'm not making a move. I'm not, oh my Yanama, church is a fan club without you. Ayada Balatai, Ayaba Labrandaba. Church is just friends without you. Church is just getting people to attend weddings without you. Ayabada Balatai, Abrandaba Saya. Lord, I need you. And I pray for us. I know it can get tiring in the body but may we not lose it I pray we'll stay on course oh have you ever tried one hour non-stop tongue speaking have you tried two hours have you tried three hours what if it is today that it must happen what if it is today Amaya Manana Sai have you tried reading one book of the Bible at a go? What if it is in this meeting? What if it is here? I pray that the Lord will grace us. Thank you, Lord. The man of God, Danny McCaffrey, will come, and then afterwards, Brackwick will be on. We are we are still pushing a little. Is it okay? I I, I needed to come in, <laughs> come in a little, a little. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. But can we love on God? Can we love on God all over this place? Can we love on God? Can we love on God? Yadala Basaya Balaba. She dabala kapaya and debele de bosa ya daba. She para dabala sam bele gavedi andolo bosa. He paya and dabala dabaya sa dabaya da. She debele debe kopi and debele sa di anda. He masala tapaya rebendi liko suhaya and debele se paya. He shut up a rat of a fire, he can't yonder the Bayagadana, he come as a friend of a rusa by, he copali parata paya da papa, he shanda la basanda la bella capaya, he coriasi and the bella ni ampon da prontos, 
ikaya tapaya baba kapa isa dabanda la papaya isa dala papaya kapa ika parada paya ndabala sada ika sidi bi anduli bi am paranda paya e fele meso poyo lika poya isi de peli apaya tapa ika brapa rapaya braka papa isso pela na melia taya ikaya ndala basada paya ibaya ndala baka paya ala basaya daba Ishandala ba ba ya ba, ikaya da ba la masaya ba la da ba, iandala ba ya ba la ka ba ya da da ba ya da ya, ika paranda ba la da ba ya da la ba ba ya, ikoyo na sondo rambo la sonde peli anda, ifente pele pera da pele kase, ishata da da ba la da ya, ikoli paria se ya, ifiga du zaba ya, ikambara da ba, ikambara da ba ya ya, ikambara da ba ya ba ya. Iyambala da ba ya kapaya, ikaya loso, iya kaloso, iya kaloso, iya kaloso, iya kaloso, iko le peli asaya. Iyambala da ba ya kapaya, irebe da ba la da ba la ba, iyambala da ba la ba la da 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 da, iya kapa. Ye pesi salaba. Come on, Parado Boy, Vente Belete Pe, Shandala Ya Payada, Isi Dibi Kadu Parada De, Seveli Mi Karondo Solo Parondo, Iye Keteli Asia Kata, La Kapa Ya Papa, Repe La Pepe La, Iye Pe Repe Pe Ya Pe, Iko Rabadaya, Veno Sondi, Veno Mrono, Iye Kasu Salabaya. You will not forever change. You are the Lord. You remain the same. You. Same, you remain the same. I know it. I 
can testify tonight. Oh, you will never, ever, ever take hold. Never, ever change. You are the Lord. You remain. You remain. I say, oh, you will never, 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 Lord. Send 
If any man boast, if any man boast tonight, if any man boast tonight, make your boast in the fact that you know the Lord. In you well.
to the word of God if God doesn't open your eyes to see clearly what he wants you to see in that verse you would end up using verses and scriptures to teach wrong doctrines it's important that the Lord opens your eyes to see what you must see he says that the, the man of God must be thoroughly equipped, rightly dividing the word of truth. The reason why sometimes we, we are unable to rightly divide the word of truth because we don't see clearly the word. When you pick up your Bible to read, you must pray, ask God to teach you, to show you the truth in the word. To see thee more clearly, love thee more dearly, follow thee more clearly. Yeah. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. 
free. Oh Lord, you are, you are the air I breathe. Oh Lord, you are, you are the air I breathe. Oh Lord, you are, you are. Oh, Lord. 
can't come and lead the same. Oh, dear Lord. The very air we breathe. Your word is life. We breathe your word to live, Lord. Lo satara bahandi seke maraba suta. Lo masiki andara basuka baya. Very solemnly, maybe as loud as silence, meditate on how far we've come. His word is life. His word is light. His word. Tonight, he is the air we breathe. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For the next few songs I will sing, I would want you to pray or meditate. Don't, don't sing, pray. For the next few songs I will raise, I want you to meditate. Do anything apart from singing the song alone. Lolly and Nana 
We are not the first to gather like this. Once they gathered in the upper room of John Mark, people have gathered before. Yemri. Yemri. Yemri knew. can sing you can pray yeah me yaba so then you know oh na titi fudu ye juma oh na titi fudu she ko yeah me yaba Say 
Se o se asa hincha abotire na. Yaba kutu ne ni mi asa i abotire no. Do we believe Jesus can say all that you have are mine? Obabeu. And all that I have are yours. And glory has come to me through them. I just said, "Nye nyame wobia no, ana nye echa no wobia no." Yesu bie ni hu na oje. Na ono so de nye a owo nyina na ho oden ni nimdie ni sika. Won so wo kakra wa wo wo nyina, won so de ma no. Now, in this exchange is that glory. And when I am young, I knew you. Now, so, may the source say, and glory has come to me through them, and yet I lay down that glory. At the end of the day, I am worthless. My joy is that you found great love. You showed great love in me. You found worth in me. Say, me so. Who bet me the mind? Adam's seed. 
I'm flesh and blood, but I am saved by your grace. Who am I to boast in your presence? That's the claim I was made of Adam's seed. I'm only flesh and blood, but I am saved by your grace. Tis only grace, it is grace that sets me free. Tis only grace, 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 surely grace. Come on, lift up your voice and pray in the language of the Spirit right now. Lord, we delight ourselves in doing your work. Our delight is to know you. Our delight is to know you. Rabba sutayaba. Libante ni masukatai katende. Loma summa taibi andera anda sondi malai. Lori inna seiki manda rosata. Lo simana nananama, engage your spirit man. Kora dadaba samama. Kema sukatata. Liba surya nanamama seketa. Oba suna nananama shana mama. Full of you, O Lord. Full of you, O Lord, that will go about doing your work with delight, with joy, even in the face of persecution. Lord, sana na mama ma. Hey, kala baba so nere baba. I mama ma saya nere bele baba ba so la baba. When it is na me. Come on, lift it. When it's you, na me nya mi shira, and yo nya ka nya mi e. Wasem so na me ni da mi nya mi e wu poseno.
oriented towards sin and evil the natural man we join the power without anything oh bon samnie christonie ni pa jina fi na forces be anywhere e channel on some end chain no say oh ramen chain and Jesus on some chain he said ramen chain left on his own he walked to Satan obako 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 ne ho cry fast but you see Jesus the way when he dwells in you and dwells in you richly then he illuminates you and your heart and your mind and your your soul and your being so that left on your own you would have tilted towards evil but for the light yesu ye ma ko memo yesu ye ma ko memo Celebrate the way! 
la 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 ah oh The word is food to my soul. When I miss my word, the word is a teacher. When I am in need, the word is a helper. Hallelujah. Solemn moment. Oh, satire. At the end, yeah, yeah. He sang his songs, but we don't know him. We enjoy his gatherings, but we don't know him. Hey, That we had right here, right here, in your presence. Where do we go from here? From here in your presence. Tell me how do we continue to live our lives the same? try to explain this experience that we had right here. All I can say is my life will never be the same. My life will never The same, my life will never be. Say, my life will never be. Say, my life, my life, my life will never be. Say, my life. Will never be my life. 
are not walking out of these meetings the same. Anybody who encountered the word left with a chain. My life, my life, oh, Administration of the word. I read from First John one. First John one. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked up, touched with our hands, concerning the word of life. The life was made manifest, and we have seen it and testify to it and proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the father and was made manifest to us Th that which we have seen and heard we proclaim also to you so that you too may have fellowship with us and indeed our fellowship is with the father and with his son jesus christ and we are writing these things so that our joy may be complete this is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. This is the word of God. Thank you, God. Nyanko ponye yi waye Ye bom kase Wuni ene rati Ose soro Eni asasi Nina Ye diye ye kutu Odu Oh, 
Can we lift up our voice? The congregation, yeah, best of Oh, yeah, 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 you don't owe us anything before we lift your name. Yeah, 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 I need everyone who agrees with me on this song that let's lift up our voice. Da, 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 yeah, that's who Hey, oh, na, na, ya, na, 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 na. Hey, ma, 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 ya. With a camera, without a camera, yeah, that's who. Here I tell you, yeah, 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 in the city, in the village, yeah, that's who. Yeah. <laughs> 
in Ghana, in America, this thing is forever. Lord, we are stuck with you. Apina Matalata. Can you turn it into a prayer? In just 30 seconds, the Lord, we will live for you. What if another God comes? Yan Sumobia, Yabesu, Yan Sumobia, Yan Sumobia, every sign, and if you are anywhere, I am Sumobia. Do you mean what you are singing to him? I'm buying some of That's why we came again. 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 That's why we are here again. Oh. I am our son. Rabado Shananai. Oto Trobon Sunyan Kupawa. Who was so runny assassin? Who would in the alpha? Who in the omega? Who kind of? It's the ASEAN. Every day, I'm in the world. Yeah, when I'm here. I wanna who you is right for. Every kwasumo, na wana who you 
edition of a day with him God would impart some fervency into us that can last for generations Amen. Oh, men will come and know Jesus the only true God Try to call Papa to come. Oh, Uncle Jesus, That's one of boy, Jesus, when you're not that's that's in your friend in Jesus, oh, Jesus, who are you? Family, let's let's try to pause. We are blessed tonight once again to have our oh God. But you can love on God, you know. You can love on Him, you know. I want you to please join me. Those of us who are at the back and have not gotten a place to sit, there are places all around. Everywhere is yours. Come and sit down. Come around.
trying to 
remember a song, but it says, Mama Makuma told me. Wama Mesuma, Sebina. Sing that one. Anybody can sing. Come on, come on. But you see, when you hear a worshiper singing a song or leading a worship song or any kind of song, and they keep hitting a certain line, it means that there is a release and a prophetic word for somebody at that place. No? Yeah. I want us to sing that part, and I want you to sing it as a prophecy. You may not know how to sing the song, but if you're not tired, I want you to rise on your feet. We're going to sing this song as a prophetic song. Mobrohufo is what? Is it merciful God? Yeah. Is that it? 
encounters in my life especially the past 25 years they happened in very small meetings like this I have not really had much encounters in last gatherings and one of the places why I look forward to coming here every month is because every time I come here I see a release you, listen no don't clap yet every time I come to this house I see a release. Every time I've walked, when I talk about this house, I'm not talking about this building. Every time I walk into a, a life with him, a day with him, I see a release in this place. When I was sitting at the back and you were leading the worship, you were leading the song and the whole place was jamming, the Lord said to me, when you come, let them pray concerning this. That every prophetic word that hangs over your destiny, it shall not fall to the ground. Listen, we're going to pray for the next 10 to 5 minutes. I want you to pray with all seriousness. Because one of the things I've also seen is a man of God, every time I walk into this place, I see new gifts birth in this place. Listen, for some of you, you may not see it now. But you see, you are walking prophets, walking apostles, walking teachers. It is only a matter of time. Every time I walk into this place, I see people giving back to gifts. I don't want you to take this place, this meeting for granted. Simple mass, simple men of God. But the things that happen in these meetings are massive. You have no idea the things that are released into this atmosphere. We are going to pray. Even before I say anything, we are going to pray. Because... For some of you, within the next three years ahead of us, one, two, three years ahead of us, many of you, you are going to be, you are going to be teachers and prophets and apostles unto the nations. Come. Danny, come. I've been looking for you. Come. Many of you, the things you never thought you would do in the next two, three years ahead of us, you are going to blow the minds of people. Because God is going to use some of you to do things that will blow even your own minds. I want to pray with you before we start. I've been looking for you for some time, sir. Where is Taki? I asked her where you were today. She's not here yet, yeah? She's not here. She's upstairs. Okay, let her be there. I want to pray for you before we start praying. We are going to pray. And when we are praying, even if you are sick, I want you to be on your feet. If you're sick, I want you to be on your feet. Because see, in this atmosphere, sickness cannot stay here. Yes, no, no. Sickness cannot stay in this atmosphere. Is there anybody sick in this place? Let me pray for you before we start. Is there anybody sick here? I don't think there is anybody sick in this place. But if you're sick, come, let me pray for you before we start. Thank God there is none sick. I'm, are you sick? What is wrong with you, sir? Your neck. You are too short for me. Go down. Let me be tall like you. Is there oil in this place? Let me pray for you. You cannot be sick in this atmosphere. This thing must leave. Every neck pain. Stretch your hands and say, every neck pain, leave. I want you to command the pain to go now. Everybody stretch your hands and shout, let this pain go now. Every neck pain, every neck pain is gone. Every neck pain is gone. Every neck pain. We command neck pain be gone. In the name of Jesus Christ. 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 
sickness cannot dwell in this atmosphere we command you go in the name of jesus thank you father we declare him healed in jesus name amen let me pray for you Danny. go down let me pray for you normally when i pray for people some people are asked permission to pray can i pray for you but you are not asking i'll pray for you whether you like it or not i'll pray for you this man this man there is there is a volcano erupting in the belly of this man there is a volcano you see for those of you who study geography you know what a volcano is what is a volcano when the liquid is no longer able to stay beneath the earth it gushes out with force and it's going to come out like a mighty rushing wind there is, there is there is an eruption there is there is something in him that wants to come out after this meeting after this a day with him whatever is in this man will come out in the name of jesus christ you will give birth to that which you are desiring in the name of jesus christ and we call it done in jesus name amen listen we are going to pray i want you to position yourself for prayer we are going to pray for the next 10 minutes are you coming to me are you coming to me you are sick what is wrong with you are you feeling cold you are not feeling cold what is wrong with you your nose you are feeling dizzy and weak father in the name of jesus christ sickness cannot stay in this atmosphere we command every dizziness and every week go in the name is anyone sick amongst you let him call for the elders all of us gathered here are elders and as I lay my hands on behalf of everybody, Father, we command pain be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you are, I want you to position yourself for prayer. Listen, one of the things I have been angry about this week is the fact that many of us, we have stayed in the same level for far too long. For far too long. Listen, there are many of you, we say that for you ought to be teachers by now. Many of us, you ought, you see, it is not that we want you to be prophets, but God has called you a prophet. And that thing that is burning inside of you must come out. You must be tired of staying at the same place for a long time. I am tired. I am tired. You see, I want to pick the microphone. And I want, the Bible said the other day, when Peter finished preaching, the man did not make altar call. The people run to him and say, what must we do to be saved? It is called power. We must be tired of the status quo. Then we must be tired. We must get to the point where we pick the microphone. And even before we say hallelujah, demons are running away. That is, the, that is, that is what we call an encounter. Is anybody ready for an encounter today? Anybody ready for an encounter? I came for an encounter in this place. And when we begin to pray, I want you to pray with, I want you to pray with everything you have in you. Because there is something released in this atmosphere. Your prayer is that, Father, any prophetic word hanging over my destiny, it shall be fulfilled. It shall not fall to the ground. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Come on, lift up your voice. Elaba shanta laba, apalaba da, ashanda laba kapa, raba ba shanta laba pa, ayada ba shanda laba, ayakash kanta laba, raba ba shanda laba, ashada branda laba pa, rapa laba dash kanta, apala 
Rabashanda, Rabashanda, Palakasa, Rabataskaba, Ashada Napa, Rababashanda Napa, Ayada Handalapa, Rababashada, Rabataskapa, Ashada Baba, Rababashanda, Aparadabasa, Rapashanda Napa, Ashaparua, Aparaka, Apashanda Napa, Ashala Brakapa, Ashapanda Napa, Ayada Bashanda, Akalabata, Rababahada, Ashadaba, Rapatalababa, Ashalabrandalaba, Ashadaba, Akapa, Akalaba, Ashadaba, Rapa, Akalaba, Ashadaba, Akalaba, 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 Akalaba,
Rabata, a Santana, Rabata, 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 a Santa, a Rabata, a Santa, a Parua, a Saraba, a Rabata, a Pata, a Pata, a Pata, a Yabaya, a Sadaba, a Sadaba, a Raba, a Sonda, a Parasta, a Rabaya, a Sonda, a Rabaya, a Sonda. Rababa, a sonaba, a sonaba, a yahoya, a sabaya, a sabaya, a sabaya, a sabaya, rabana, a sonda, a sabaya, a sabaya, rababa, a zamba, rabasa, a rastaya, rababa, a sonda, a sabarua, a parasa, a sabara, a parada, a sabarua, a sabarua, a sabarua. Asabaya, atakaba, arababa, rapanaba, rababa, asanda, eparaba, rababa, asalaba, rababa, asalaba, rababa, asalaba, rababa, asanta, rapa, asalaba, asalaba, asabaya, 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 rapa, asanta. Aya soya, a patua, a sapaya, rapaza, a tanaba, a payaba, a sabarua, a parua, a santa, a salaba, rapata, a sapaya, rapaya, a salaba, rapaba, a salaba, a palaba, a palaba, a palaba, a rabasa, a sabarua, a perasa, a rabasa, a santa, yes. Listen. But I still sense, I still sense the urge to pray. Listen. warfare. I want us to lift this one prayer. We are praying against every generational affliction. L l l listen to me. This was, not, this was not planned for, but I, I sense an edge for us to pray this prayer right now. We are praying against generational afflictions. Generational affliction. Ah, barabo, I sense God. So Grace. Bring, bring me that one. Where, where do you come from? Where do you come from? Sorry. Yes. Bomi. Where is Bomi? Konongo. Kou. Lift up your hands. No, hold with a song. Hold with a song. In the name of Jesus Christ.
listen, listen. Also, for I, I, I was, I was a very interesting Christian some years ago. There were some things I did not really believe in until I had a certain encounter. I don't, I, 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 I say this anywhere, and it's one of the things. This forty days of power for ICGC is one of the things I've started teaching my brightness. It's, it's one of the things we've been praying against these few days. Generational affliction. In Ezekiel chapter 18, I believe, the Bible says that, he said that for a proverb is heard in Israel, and what is the proverb? That the fathers have sinned, and the teeth of the sons have been set on edge. But he says, this proverb shall no longer be heard. For now, it is the soul that sins that shall die. What does it mean? Whatever your fathers did, you are not supposed to suffer the consequence. When you stand before God in prayer, as a lawyer presenting the case, you must have enough evidence to address your matter. And one of the, one of the, one of the evidence we have when we come to pray against generational cases is Ezekiel chapter 18. For this proverb shall no longer be heard in my house. My forefathers have sinned. My teeth will not be set on edge. What do I mean? For some of you in your families, oh, listen, for, for my family, man of God, my family, it is a taboo to start a church. For me to start a church is a testimony, and I keep telling the church. My uncle, my uncle tried it. He's a drunkard in a crowd. We don't know where he is. My father was the next generation. My father is now a chief. He's pouring like I am next in line. I am next in line. So for me to grouch to church is a testimony. It's called generational affliction. Yes, you have been bought by the blood, but you need to stand your grounds and tell the devil this scripture was written for my redemption. You are praying tonight in the next five minutes. And you are saying, Father, anything in my family that is transgenerational, you are saying to yourself, not me, oh God. Listen. 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 I want you to take a journey right now to your family. For some of you, eh? For some of you. For me, I will say it again. In my entire maternal and paternal family, I am the first person to enter university. But I'm one of the youngest. It's called transgenerational affliction. I am the first person to have a white wedding. Materna, paterna. Because you have to born before marriage. I said, me, I will not, I'm not go born before marriage. And so when I got married, they said, you know, go born before marriage. You wait for five, you wait for 10 to five to 10 years. We have to stand. It's called transgenerational affection. And for some of you, your, your only problem is that you, you sleep too much. You eat too much, you don't fast, you don't study the word of God, the word of God, which is your short prophecy to deliverance, you don't study it, and you are just there. And you can see that you are the next in line. You are the next in line. We traveled to a San Gregor for missions when I was in CCF, and when we got to the village, and we stood at the center and we were praying, the Lord opened my eyes. I saw a huge pot. This is about 2009, no, 2007. I saw a huge pot in the San Gregor, and a big woman was sitting by the pot, and she was staring it. And while she was staring it, she had lined the men in the village. Everybody was carrying calabash. When it comes, she pour alcohol. So when we entered the town, every man drank drunkards it is called transgenerational affliction and until you stand your grounds when you enter spaces like this you must tell god not me it stops with me nobody gets married it stops with me nobody ever breaks through financially it stops with me nobody ever does masters in my hometown it stops with me nobody ever ever gets married and have children it stops with me you want to say father it stops with me lift up your voice and begin to pray right now I stand 
stand in the gap on behalf of my family. I stand in the gap on behalf of my children. I stand in the half of Rushadahaya. My ministry shall grow. My marriage shall work. My education will work. My finances shall work. Come on, somebody begin to prophesy. Begin to prophesy. It shall work. You will succeed. Lift up your voice. Let Barazula Bahaya. Ibada Shanda Sata. Parima Sulaba. Aliga Sonde Kabaha. Rabba Baba Shadabaya. If a man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Lema Shanda Bahasa. Rabba Sila Badaya. I know who I am. 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 It starts with me. It starts with me. In the name of Jesus, I stand on behalf of my family and I declare never again, never again, oh God. Manda Basaya, Ila Barazunda Baha, Parano Shabata, Parima Sua Bahaya, Ayala Boshana Baya, Ali Boshana Bataya. I see deliverance coming to somebody online. You are watching us online. But I see the power of God hit you on your bed right now. There is deliverance for somebody. Laba shana zia, ibarazunda bahata, parando koshina ha, raba shali bata, pandi kasula ba, maro shila bayata, paramire lo soto, parama mama kushanda, eba shila ha, shaka baba baba so, manda gaba daba ya. In the name of Jesus. I stand in this holy ground. I stand in the anointing in this house. And I decree and declare that every generational affliction in our families by the blood of Jesus Christ, we stop it in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, yes, Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I see padlocks open like that. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody give the Lord a shout of victory. Give the Lord a shout of victory. Give the Lord a shout of victory. Give the Lord a shout. Glory 
glory to God. Oh, glory to God. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Listen. The presence of God is so strong in this place. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. In this atmosphere, you will hear. In this atmosphere, you are here. In this atmosphere, Bro. there is the stirring of the Holy Ghost. For we have come to that place called Mount Zion. In this atmosphere, you are here. Ew. Hello. Bro. Yeah, nah, it, in this it, yeah, bro. Nah, it is show you the progressions, the progressions. In this atmosphere, there is a stirring of the Holy Ghost. For we have come to the place called Mount Zion. This atmosphere belongs to you. Six. Stay. Six. Five, Stay and have four, your way. This atmosphere five, belongs to you. Six. Father, stay. Four. Stay and have your way. To your grace. Your grace. Your grace, let it over. Your grace, your grace, your grace. There is a name that's a Bible. Above all names, there is a name that's above all names. There is a name high and lifted up. The name is Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. When I call the name, every knee must bow. When I call the name, every tongue confess. When I call the name, demons got to flee. When I call the name, every knee must bow. So who is like a Lord in all the earth? Much less love and beauty and Nothing in this world can satisfy Oh Jesus, you're the cop that I want to run Treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness, you are merciful. Redeemer of my past and present wrongs. You are my hold, holder of my future days to come. Your
sit down. Sit down. Please sit down. Your presence is heaven. Heaven. joy it will be to see you face to face heaven heaven oh heaven what a joy it will be to see you face to face I want to sit at your feet Drink from the cup in your hands. Lean back against you, breathe. Feel your heart beat. This love is so deep. It's more than I can. I'm melting your have seen my eyes have seen my eyes have seen an open heavens now my eyes have seen my eyes have seen my eyes have seen an open heavens now there is power in this house, anointing in this house, power in this place, my eyes have seen. For my eyes are open now, my eyes are open now, for my eyes are open now, open to see. Oh ya na 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 Oh barama karana 
Irana mashushu na makite te barako boshe Pena na makuba sana nete Ora baba shana kuba baba 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 do do bo 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 There is glory revealed in this house. I pray that you will not be left out of this outpour in this house. Oh Lord, we sense you. Just have your way and do what you do best. In Jesus' name, somebody shout amen to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Can you look at somebody's face? Like you're in love with a person, as usual. Tell the person, ask the person, neighbor. Ask the person, neighbor. Can you sense God? What was the answer? What was the answer? What, what, what did she tell you? She said she can sense God. Come. When you say I sense God, what do you mean? How do you know you sense God? When you walk into a place, how do you tell you sense God? Because you say she say she sense God. So tell me, how do you sense God? You want to say it in my ears. Okay, when you say it here, to so come here, so say it. When you feel him around you, so you can feel God around you. You can feel God around you. Glory to God. Please sit down. Many years ago, when is there a door that goes here and comes? Is there a door that goes here and comes? If you've locked that one in, yes, it will help us. They are in the third heavens. Let's stay where we are. Okay. The Lord says to tell somebody that from today, you are going to receive strange visitations. If you can write it, write it next month. Bring us a testimony. I like, I like, I like fulfillment of prophecy. Some of you, you hardly dream. And even if you dream, you forget from today. You are going to have a series of dreams and you will not even forget even one of them. There are some of you here. The Lord is going to give you prophecies for people. And it's going to come through your dream. And when you tell them what you saw in the dream, it's going to happen just as you saw it. And for those of you in this place, it's going to be the beginning of your prophetic grace. Some of you in this place. There's a lady here, you have unusual menstrual cycle. It's unusual. As you leave this meeting today, you will not take that drug anymore. I'm speaking to two ladies in this place right now. As you leave this meeting, the word of God, this morning God told me, the word of God is a beautifier. It beautifies your life. Do you know why? Because the word of God is oil. Oil. Oil prevents rust. It's a beautifier. There's somebody here you have migraine. Migraine. You experience migraine. Sometimes your head can ache you as if 
it can pain you to the extent that you feel it's, it's, it's going to go off. You have to take serious of painkillers before it goes. If you're here, come. You, I want to pray for you now. There's somebody here. I want to pray for you now. I'm speaking on the word of God. The word of God. The word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke this headache. You will take that drug no more. Next month, that shall be your testimony. As the hands are laid on you, I command our head to get out of your head. You are healed. In Jesus' name. Amen. Your parents are on the verge of getting a divorce. But as we take the word of God, and we lift it up to God, we declare that may your father tear that paper into pieces. <laughs> the word of God. The word of God. It shall happen. It shall happen. In this month of July, Somebody is sending applications into companies. I speak in the name of Jesus Christ. By the time you come here for next month's edition of a life with him, you will not be unemployed anymore. The word of God. The word of God is a beautifier. <laughs> it makes your life beautiful. Because the word of God has the ability to prevent friction because it is oil. There is somebody here, you are sitting in this atmosphere, you are contemplating, should I stay in a relationship or leave? The Lord says to tell you, get out. I'm not speaking to everybody. You are in a relationship and as you are coming here tonight, you are saying, Father, give me a direction. I am the direction. The Lord says to tell you, get out. Can I make an altar call for this category? Can I make an altar call? Is there a genuine soul that wants to walk to Pastor Emmett now? I should stop it then. Eh? I shouldn't go there. Wow, do home baba. Before I leave, what do home baba? The word of God. The word of God is your sure word of prophecy. Second Peter chapter 1, the verse number 19. For we also have a sure word of prophecy by which you also heed, heed as a light that shines in the dark. And as the dawn of the day rises and the morning star rises in your heart, knowing this first, that no word or prophecy of scripture ever came by private interpretation. But holy men of God, they spoke it as they were moved. The word of God is your sure word of prophecy. Peter speaking, or Paul speaking to Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter number 4. Verse 3, he said, for a time is coming, they will not endure sound word, but because they have itching ears, they will hear for themselves teachers. But your, the word of God is your sure word of prophecy. I know you have received all kinds of prophetic words, but there is none greater than the word of God. It is your sure word. Holy word, long present for us came to us. Come on here. Ancient, ancient word, ever true, changing me. We have come with open
There is somebody here. You are confused. You are confused. You are confused and your confusion is simple. You are on the verge of getting married. You are so close to marriage. But when you look at what is happening in the house, you, 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 are, you are scared to go. Because you are asking yourself, will my life also be like this? But the word of God is your sure word of prophecy. The word of God is your sure word of prophecy. The word of God is your sure word of prophecy. The word of God is your sure word of prophecy. Open eyes, oh let me. Hey, yeah. I'm about wrapping up, but I see I see lots of I hear lots of things and see lots of things. But please listen to this one. The, the Lord is going to send one man into this ministry. One man. It's not a woman. It's a man. The Lord is sending one man into this ministry. And through that one man, this gathering is going to explode. Because you see, he will tell you to sleep. All he will do is write a check and say, let this be done. Listen, I'm not talking about 10 years to come. I'm not talking about five years to come. I'm talking about within the next two years. God is sending this ministry a man. One man. One man. The word of God. The word of God. Can I end with this? Let me end with this one. I want to plead with you. I go on my knees. I beseech you. Don't let this gathering be a normal gathering. Can I tell you something? You know what my benediction is. You know what my favorite song is. You know what my favorite scripture is. You know what my favorite food is. That you will live a life that is pleasing to the master. The word of God is our sure way to escape temptation. Can I speak to that young man in a relationship? Let me use the word. Let me speak to that young man in a relationship who is not married and is sleeping with a girl. Let me speak to you. Do you know what can save you? It's the word of God. Can I speak to that lady? That lady that is hooked onto that guy and and even though you are not willing to sleep with him, you, you still do it because you, you, you still want to keep him. Can, can, I, can I give you a solution? I'm looking at your face, but you're not the one I'm talking to. So don't be offended. That's how I preach. Can I, can I tell you, can I just beg you to put an end to that foolishness today? Can, can I say that? Can, can, can I tell you to put an end to that foolishness today? Because it is foolishness. Can I speak to that tongue-talking believer? That young, beautiful girl sitting here. Uh, uh, that you are in a relationship with somebody and the person is beating you. You are here. You are here. You are in this anointing. After all the tongues and after all the counsel, the guy still beats you in his house. Sister, you decrease. You decrease. I'm sorry, but you decrease. Something is wrong with your head. Can I speak to that young man who is struggling with masturbation? You can break out. Yeah, tongues can't any masturbation and fat. Because I'm more yeah the crow, but any other crow. Coca tongues are we shaky. Who masturbate here? Who shake it? 
but they had a crow. So I was sorry. So, so when you're the crow maker, but I beseech you, we can stop. This is, this is my benediction because this is my passion. I went to somewhere to preach last week, and, and a certain young lady just came to me and said, Pastor, help me. The, the girl was about to Pastor, help. I said, Why? He said, Pastor, I've been masturbating for a long time. I don't, your deliverance is not in speaking in tongues. Shut up. It's in the word. When the word of God takes root in your heart, it, you struggle to do some things. Can I beseech you? Die in the word. Close WhatsApp. Sometimes go on a technological fast. Fast for one month. Get off WhatsApp. Get off Facebook. Get off Instagram. Die in the way. Until you die, you can't live. You are too alive. You are too alive. If you want to stop some things, you have to stop some things. Can I tell you something? When the inner man grows, the outward man glows. I say it again for free. When the inner man grows, the outward man, it glows. It's called the word of God. Are you not tired of crying every day because of the same thing? And that is why I have been here for almost a year and something. I keep preaching the same thing. Because that is the same issue I'm being confronted with every day. Pastor Emmett, help me. I can't help you. Your help is in the word of God. My solution, the, re, the, 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 the reason I was able to come out a job is because I died in the word. Die in the word. Die. Live in the word. Live in the word. That is the only way you can overcome all of these struggles. Listen. Listen, listen, the world, the world is getting tougher and tougher. And the only people who can stand are the people who die to the word of God. In the morning, they are there. In the afternoon, they are there. In the, if you forget anything I say today, remember this one. That your solution to breaking away from sin and addiction is the word of God. If all of us in this place can be sincere, if you, we can lift our hands, if I should ask this question, more than 60% of us, our hands will be up, but I will not ask it. How many are struggling with addictions? Your hands are lifted in your heart. It's okay. I don't want it to be lifted physically. But I want to tell you something. Spend time in the word of God. How can a young man keep his ways pure? The word. Thy word have I hid in my heart. Is the word. Is the word. Is the word. Chew the word. Meditate on the word. Confess the word. Confess it. When you feel like masturbating, confess it. When you feel like running to that young man for sex, confess it. Sometimes you don't like it when we say it raw in church. I will say it raw here because you need to hear it. As for the prosperity, we will prosper. But we have to be holy, young, rich, rulers. And it is possible. Lift your hands and say it's possible. Somebody shout it is possible. Ask your neighbor, is it possible? Ask another person, is it possible? What was the answer they gave you? It's possible. Is my time up? My time is up. It's possible. Kakra, is it possible? It's possible. Akushia, is it Akushia or Ajua? is it possible? It's possible. It's possible. 
close your eyes with me. Before I take my seat, I want to make a simple altar call before I leave. You are here and you want to say, Pastor Emmett, I need you to help me in prayer. It's an issue I'm dealing with. And when I talk about an issue, I'm not talking about addiction. I'm talking about any issue that requires someone to stand with you in prayer. I want you to rise and come to me shortly and I'll be out of here. Let's come to me. Rise and come to me. Come, let me pray with you. I believe in different graces. Rise, come, let me pray with you. You are dealing with something. I am very happy you are here. I'm very happy you are here. Thank you. Thank you. Powerful man. I love this man. He's a good man. He's very anointed. And he'll go very far. Amen. Give me oil. Take off your mask. If, if, if nobody had come, I would have called you. Why, why, why are you dealing with so much? What do you do? You're a student. You seem to have a lot on your head. I'm not talking about hair. The things you have on your head are more numerous than your hair. Lift your hands up. It is well. It is well. It is well. Don't cry. It is well. I'm happy you came out. You are carrying too much, but it is well. And yet you know this one very well. It is your daughter. It is well. It is well. Open your eyes. Look at me. Do you talk to him a lot? Why? You like keeping stuff to yourself, huh? Why? You don't want people to know your matter, eh? Or you are, you, 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 you don't like him? You don't, or you are shy? You are shy, eh? Talk to him. See, if you keep things within yourself too much, it, it leads you to do some things. I don't want to talk. I go and talk to him. Hmm? You the bab? Ah. Maybe I'm going. You say corner cockas and then cockasa. Go and talk to him. Eja but you obey no no be kasa why? Also obey no no be kasa. Now lay hands. A bomb pie man. She's dealing with a lot, but it is well. Don't cry. It is well, okay. What is your name? It is well, okay. Look at my face. It is well. All right. Father, come through for her. In Jesus name come through for this one come through for this one Lord. thank you father Lord I pray for your son that which he's dealing with is beyond him but you are more than able glory hallelujah thank you thank you for your son thank you Give you praise. Glory to God. It is settled. It is settled, sir. It is settled. Thank you, Father. I give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, be glorified tonight. Thank you for using us to be a blessing to your people. May your name be glorified. May your name be honored. 
In Jesus' name, somebody shout amen. Family, you want to stretch forth your hand and say a blessing over. Pastor Amen, I want you to pray. Say a prayer wherever you are. Oh, can you do it well? Can you do it well? Can you do it well? Father, preserve him. Keep him. Rabakusuma pentene kosai, ritu shute sese, ayata la to sana na na to mikamba kumapai, rabasu na 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 tete bekopa, rabasho na ma papete, wali tu msma pa inbasaya ta, rabakusuba pa le kosambe, pumbeno sumante konaka, rabango shuma pe kutombe kunate, romesu sumikando shuma. Nasa Rabaza by Mapa Suno Semalaya. Oh, Shanana Mesaleha. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are grateful for another time, Lord. Thank you for these impartations of truth and your spirit. Oh, thank you for your grace in full manifestation. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. For Father, Pastor Emmett, keep him, Lord. Preserve him, Lord. Order his steps, Lord. Oh, let your will be done. Let your will be done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can we put our hands together? Oh. There is a way to clap and there is a way to clap for the Lord. <laughs> Want to receive the man of God, Makwa. Want to put your hands together as we go deeper. Let's go deeper. Let's go deeper. Oh, Shabaya Baladai. Lift up your hands. It's midnight. It's midnight. Psalm 119 verse 62. At midnight I will rise. At midnight I will rise and give thanks to you for your righteous judgment. It's midnight. Can you begin to bless the Lord in this place? It's midnight. David says, at midnight I will rise and give thanks to you for your righteous judgment. Don't be tired of giving thanks because God is not tired of us. Ah, for by his mercies we are not consumed. For by his mercies we are not consumed. His compassions fail not. They are new every morning and great is his faithfulness. Bless him in this place. At midnight I will rise I love you Lord And I lift my voice To
my soul is my mind, my will and my emotions. We take joy, my king, take joy. Ah, 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 ragazina la mai. Tell God that he should help you so that so that your praise will be acceptable to him so that your offering will be acceptable not every offering is acceptable you can ask Cain ask Cain father accept the praise we bring Emmanuel discovered that praise is a place praise is a place praise is a place of shelter in first Kings 19 verse 3 Elijah was escaping from Jezebel because Jezebel was killing the men of God in Israel the Bible says Elijah ran to Beersheba which belongs to Judah ah Judah means what so praise is a place of shelter if you are somebody who keeps the praise of God in your mouth you are always safe Emmanuel tonight 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 your name one more time Emmanuel verse 6 let the high praise of God be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hands if you have the praise in your mouth it's a sword in your hands ah how can I be defeated I am indefatigable I am indefatigable why I have the praise in my mouth praise in your mouth sword in your hands praise in your mouth sword in your hands Baba To bless him one more time. Ah, ah, Psalm 104, verse 33. I will praise him all my life. I will praise him all my life. I will sing praise to God as long as I live. As long as I live. Devil, you didn't kill me. I'm here. I'll praise him. 
Makana na mazimbra. Come on, let praise arise. Let praise arise. Let praise arise. For he harvests the praise of his people. I was wired for this. I was wired for this. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Remana mazimba la mayana manda. Kala mayanda. Remaga zimba la ba. Kebra na mashala mayanda. for you and I. What I have, what I don't have, I can't give you. I'll be deceiving you. This one, I have it. When nothing works, praise works. Most people forget. Ah, I say, Nan come me down, touch him. Nan come me where she tree. Nan come in the wine now. Me fat so wahini. Nan soon I went home up from Suedemia Bata or Hodia. Me da was ya, I say, oh, me mau. Nan come me da, touch him. Nan come me where she chewy. Nan come in the wine now. Me fat sour hindi. Nan soon I went home up from Suedemia. We who were once afar off.
Sing generation, sing generation after generation. We're praising you. Yet no one sounds Then I ask the Lord. Then I ask the Lord. What name is you? What name? And he's heard it. This place, yeah, the hallowed one. Everybody say, yeah, the hallowed one. Yeah, the holy one. Your name is Yahweh, Yahweh, the King of Zion. Yeah, the hallowed one. Yeah, the holy one. Remember the wonders that he has done. Psalm 105, Psalm 105, verse 5, NLT, if it's possible. Remember the wonders he has done. Do you know your life is a wonder? Do you know it takes a lot of biochemical reaction before I can move my hand? Before I can move like this, a lot of reactions take place in me. It's a miracle. Remember his marvelous works. Can I get NLT? Remember his wonders. Remember the miracles. Sometimes when you sleep, you set the alarm. But the alarm will blow and blow. You never, you never get up. Until God comes and wakes you up. So the Bible says, he waking at my ear morning by morning. Every morning he comes. Come now, sorry, I did It's not your alarm. Remember the wonders. Don't forget. Most people forget. Most people. But remember. David says in Psalm 103 verse 2. My soul bless the Lord. And do not forget. Mm. Mm. For gratitude is the seed for more. And the air be Father, we will remember. We will remember. I mean, I will hand him up for our Redeemer leader, though. Our Redeemer, he lives. Wow, 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 wow,
mountain to you. Yeah. And it is Sam can see. Oh, see them. Ah, this is a good news. This is a good news that our Redeemer lives. Also discovered one thing when you always praise God he gives you opportunities to praise him more try and see Psalm 147 verse 1 praise ye the Lord praise ye the Lord praise ye the Lord for it is good to praise the Lord in other words it is bad not to praise him Praise ye the Lord, for it is good to praise the Lord. For praise is comely. Comely. Comely means attractive. If you are someone who, who, who is always praising, you are attractive. Don't mama, praise. Don't complain, praise. Don't forget, praise. I'm paranya me no ye. I'm paranya me no ye. So what should we do? Ah, the movie. Come on, Fana Simon. Fana Simon. Messi, I'm paranya me. Talking about to the enemy that whatever he does is inconsequential it has no bearing on our praise therefore whatever you do has no bearing on our praise 
Focus on magnifies in your life. Focus on God. You'll be too big. What you focus on magnifies, it magnifies in your life. There is, there is a verse in that hymn. I see Jesus Christ on me she
Listen, when you call God holy, you summon all the attributes of God into one. In his holiness is his power. In his holiness is his authority. So when you sing holy, eh, when you sing any song that there is holy, you are summoning all the powers of God together. The Hebrew word that is translated holy, means one or oh, any one god is one because god is one he doesn't change that's why we call him the eternal rock of ages so when you call him holy you you trigger all his powers on your behalf daddy It's early in the morning, so we can sing holy, holy, holy. Lord God. It's early in the morning. Come on. you can lie down if you feel like sitting you can sit if you feel like kneeling down whatever you do something God in three person God in three person The word of God is paramount. Now the word of God is paramount. The word of God is Jesus. John 1 12. And the word became flesh and dwelt amongst. Them. So the word of God can be equated to Jesus. So as we are craving for the word, means we are craving for Jesus. We want to see him. When you see Jesus, you've seen the word. Because he's the word walking. So we can sing. morning it is my heart desire that all of us will go out glowing with the presence but it's dependent on your faith it's dependent on your faith do you really want to meet him this is Jacob this is Jacob the generation of those who seek him father we are tired of things we want you Dini Jesus I am
not get that visa that visa you might never get it until Jesus comes or until you leave this earth you might never get it I'm saying it again you might never get you might never get that marriage you might never get it but this prayer there God will do it this one there God will do it Blessed are those who thirst and hunger for righteousness, for they shall be filled. looks at the heart not the outward appearance I want you to work, work on your heart work on your heart mm? cultivate a sincere heart for the Word of God cultivate it cultivate it hey it will surprise you what it will do for you the Bible says in the city of Ephesus so mightily grew the Word of God and prevailed you will be able to prevail in this difficult world if you have the word. If you don't have the word of God, you will not prevail. You will pretend. Ah, but so mightily grew the word of God and prevail. Before one same new CSA, Makuma. Stay there. For the heart of man is desperately wicked. Two more times. Time all over this place. But for this one, God will hear it and He will answer. Most of your prayers, you will not get answers. This one, you get answer. Every the keyboard play I want you to talk to God pray the hand away that God 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 daddy build in me a sincere desire for your word the word of God if I have not taken your word Jeremiah 15 16 ah Jeremiah 15 16 see your joy is in the word thy words were spoken 
and I found them. I did eat them and they were the joy and rejoicing of my soul. All the joy that you need is in the word. Talk to God. That Father, I want, I want some wild desire for your word. We came from the word. We can only be sustained in the word. We came from the word. We can only be sustained in the word. Talk to God. One more minute. Mashara makata la manda, manele majamra la kashamba la yana manda. Father, I want to be a word addict. Word addict. Because there are wonders in your word. Hey, there are wonders in His word. I'm telling you, my brother, my sister, there are wonders. There are wonders. Tell God that He should help you. He should unveil them. This song is coming again. in his word. I hope you are mingling with the Holy Spirit. Because I see angels ascending and descending. I hope you are tapping into it. Ah, 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 ah. Every word in the Bible was written for us. One of my favorite texts, Romans 15 verse 4. When I saw it on the fly, I was so happy. I said, this is it. So that through patience and comfort of the scriptures, we might find hope. Without hope, you don't want to continue. The day you lose hope is the day you, 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 you think about suicide. But the Bible says, so that through patience and faith and comfort of the scriptures, we will find hope. So there is hope. There is hope. There is hope. There is hope. Colossians 1.27 Christ in us. So we have an anchor that keeps the soul steadfast and sure while the beat we are fastened to the rock ground that firm and The world is getting worse and worse. But we have an anchor. 
For the next for the next two minutes, let us open our mouth and blow in tongues. For the next two minutes, 160 seconds, 120 seconds. Mara barada malama ka zimbra la matara ma, makara mantala ma zimbra la makara barada la ma salama. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Building up yourself on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Reba mana ma zimbra la chala ma. Tune in, tune in, tune in to the spirit, tune in. Enter, 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 enter. Mara Mazimba, Rata Kazamba, Meka Malama Ramatina Lamanda, Ramana Gamasala Mayana Manda, Meka Mayana Lama Simba Lama, Rama Mayana Mazimba Layane, Remana Masalaman, Makala Mayana Lama Simba Lama, Ramayana Mande, Remaka Salamanda, Rama Mayana. Salama, thirty more seconds, thirty more seconds. Mabara Masimba Lamanda, Rekana Namaya Nalama Simbrana, Remaya Namasha Malamanda, Makana Bayanele, Remana Masimba Lama, Makabaya Nalamanda, Makana Lamande. Ye eh. Ye eh. Because ye know not the scriptures. You've committed a lot of errors because you didn't know the scriptures. The word of God. So it means that the more of the word you know, the lesser the mistakes you do in life. Ye eh. Because ye know not the scriptures. So it means that the antidote to curing, curing errors is the word, the scriptures. Mm. The word of God. If I were you, if I, this prayer is a good prayer. You see, when, 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 when a five-year-old baby or child, whatever, asks the father for an iPhone, that child will never get the iPhone. you never get it. But when that same child asks for a pencil and eraser and then an exercise book for assignment, that child will get it. Are you catching it? Hmm. This is a good prayer. This one is always a yes from God. I don't believe God has three answers to prayers. I don't believe it. I don't believe in wait, no, and yes. It's always a yes. God is always yes. But we pray amiss. Most of our prayers is to gratify our desires, so we will never get it. Behind, behind the prayers, there's the visa that you want. But God is always a yes. Every physical thing that you need, there's a spiritual pattern you need to press. So this one is a good prayer. This one is a good prayer. Prayer for a desire for the word. If some people have passion for silly things, then God can give us passion for his word. If the devil is able to arouse desires for silly things, then God can do better. Pray for this one. This one is a yes. God will, God will do it. You will not say wait. You will not say my daughter wait. No, no. When you grow small, I'll give you wisdom. No, no, no. It's a yes. It's a yes. Talk to him. Ma majamba ranti katala mayanda. Ah, 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 ah. The word, the word. Hmm. The more you look, the more you become. 
we are not becoming because you are not looking we close it the word now we don't even have holy bibles we don't we 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 we, we, we don't have holy bibles we have bibles on our phone Dabi, dabi, dabi. Your phone is not holy because some things can pop up on your phone on our way. It makes the phone not holy again. So you need the holy Bible. Desire for the word. Desire for the word. Desire for the word. Father, I want more. I want more. More of the desire. I'm not satisfied. I want more. 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 More 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 when they press me when they press me your words should come out when life press me your words should come out when i'm a hard press your words should come out when you are hard pressed on all sides the word of god should come out because you are filled with the word colossians 3 16 let the word of god dwell in you richly Here I am waiting Abide in me I pray Here I in your life. Father, bring me to This is the most important part of the song. May I know Jesus more and more. Here I am waiting. Father, we are waiting. That's why we have come. Abide in me. Here I am, Lord. Oh, you take the word. Give me Jesus. Take the word. Take the word. the most important part of the song may I know Jesus may I know Jesus of us are malnourished 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 Elijah wake up and eat for the journey is long 
all of us here God has called us if you are here it means God has called you many are called few are chosen the few we are inside we are in the few but you need to rise and eat for the journey is long what do you eat you eat the word thy words were found and I ate them and they were the joy and the rejoice we eat the word so talk to God that father help me eat your word because the journey is long God has called you it's a long journey otherwise you give up along the way but may God forbid our generation our generation shall seek him our generations shall save him generations after us shall save him because we stuck to the word the word the word As a church, I may walk on saying, Yeah, baby, I'm a song. You to me, I say, And I'm a yeah, and you say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, are doing ah we choose the narrow way father we choose the narrow way we choose the straight way ah, help us help our infirmity seems right to a man but in the end a minary soldier every say Every soldier, every soldier, every soldier, 
Can we bless the Lord as I sign out? Bless him. I always want to bless him to sign out. Father, we thank you for showing up. You never disappoint. You never disappoint. Bless you, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor. You deserve it. Be thou exalted, O Lord, above. Be thou exalted, O Lord. Father, for showing up, be thou exalted. of us are grateful to the Lord. Hallelujah. We are in the second half of the year. Amen. I don't sing much, <laughs> but there is a song on my heart. Hallelujah. It's in First Samuel chapter 2. The verse 2. It says that there is none holy as the Lord. For there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. Neither is there any rock like our God. I know you have the beautiful voice. But I want you to join me. Those of us who are seated. Mimpini. Mimpini. Like I, I won't do. Amen. I would do. There is none holy last.
Paul says that the rock that they struck that gave them water was Jesus himself and this is Hannah giving a revelation she said that there is no other rock like our God there is no other rock like our God. I want you to just lift up your voice. In the next two minutes, in the next two minutes, there is none, there is none. There is none like our God. There is none like our God. In mercy, there is none like our God. In glory, there is none like our God. In power, there is none, there is none. I tell all over this place all over this place let us tell our God there is none there is none there is none beside you there is none before you there is none after you There is none like our God. There is none like our God. I think that sometimes we need to remind ourselves that there is none like our God. In mercy, there is none like Him. In glory, there is none like Him. In power, there is none like Him. In majesty, there is none. There is none. Absolutely none. There is none before Him. After Him, there will be none. There is none beside Him. He is God all by Himself. We praise your name. Obian so. Everybody and then you may see Obia and so. There is none. Some have tried. There is none like you, Lord. There is none like you. Oh. There is none like you. Absolutely no one. No one. No one. No one. No one. No one. No one like our God. There is none like our God. And there is none like our God. Neither there is any rock like our God. There is none. Holy as the Lord. Oh, neither there is.
Someone boasting about his or her husband or wife before. Like on him say, like you know, and I say Nikunu no idepa. When we said the person is boasting about the wife or the husband before. I want us to boast about our God tonight. That there is none that can be compared unto him. There is none like our God. There is none like our God. Amen. Are, are you ready? Are you, do you have a handkerchief? something that is waveable pick something that you can wave something we can wave we want to let God know there is none like our God there is none there is nobody like our God there is nobody like our God there is nobody like our God say this when you check the word hallelujah and you do a little background check on it that word is not a call and response when now we come to church and I say hallelujah and then you respond no 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 that is not what hallelujah means hallelujah is an action word say action word these people are not ready for me I said hallelujah is an action word You are coming. So when we say hallelujah, which also means praise the Lord. We don't praise the Lord standing. We don't praise the Lord looking as if we don't know what to do. We don't praise the Lord looking clueless. We praise the Lord with action. We praise the Lord with shout. We praise the Lord with death. To praise the Lord we will do that on the third shout if if only you knew how the devil did everything possible to prevent you from seeing the second half of the year you will give him your best shout you will give him your best shout you will give it to him David said, he said, I will pay my vow in the assembly of the brethren. You know what that means? It means that when it comes to my praise, it will not be hidden. My, my thanksgiving, it will not be hidden. It's, it is not something that I'm going to think about it, whether you will be offended or you, you will see me somewhere. No, no, no. When it comes to my vow, oh, when it comes to thanking the Lord, when it comes to appreciating the Lord, it will not be hidden. It will not be hidden. It will not be hidden. Come on, give the Lord. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a shout. Give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. 
my tears. I may hide my frustration. I may hide my pain, but definitely not my thanksgiving. Definitely not my praise. It will not be hidden. It will not be hidden. My praise will not be hidden. My adoration will not be hidden. My thanksgiving will not be hidden. The devil is a liar. Who am I speaking to? Lift up your voice and give God an unhidden praise. Give the Lord 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 an unhidden praise. Jesus. <laughs> Our God is good. Our God is good. Ephesians chapter 6, the verse 11. We'll be praying in a bit. Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 11. It says that put on the whole armor of God. That ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. When you read other versions, it says that you will be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. When you read others, it says you'll be able to stand against the deception of the devil. Other translation will say you'll be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. And then I'm wondering how come we are wearing, we are putting on a whole armor. We are dressing up with sword, with all kinds of things. And all we are going to fight is the deception of the devil. And in our generation, I realize one of the things that the enemy is pushing into our system is deception. Deception. Many of us have been deceived, especially when it comes to the word of God, the, the very word where that which gives us life the man of God who was ministering earlier made a statement that we came out of the word of God are you here we came out of the word of God we are products of the word of God the Bible says that the earth was without form it was void there was nothing beautiful about it all that God had to release was a word he released a word but now we want to manage the world with our understanding with our our own human system it will not work many of us are being deceived about the word of God woman of God when you someone tells you he or she is sick and the first thing you say is that oh you by the stripes you are healed Rebecca just way in your Bible I said let's go to the hospital are we together oh are we still here that is the deception that is being handed over to us. A woman is looking for marriage and you tell the person, have you read Proverbs chapter 31? Can you prepare yourself, package yourself as a virtuous woman and you will be found? The person will tell you it's not about Bible or let's be practical. Let's go and get Mary Kay. Let's go and get, you know, some makeup. Let's go and get, you know, there is a place for all that. But you need to understand that we are products of the word of God. And the only thing that can sustain us, the only thing that can glorify us, the only thing that can bring us to unexpected end is still the word of God. The Bible says, out of his word was nothing made, but with his head, with his with the word was everything else made. Don't be deceived. Some of us even go as far as let's be practical. <laughs> Hallelujah. The person is telling you the issues. And the first thing you want to jump to is the word of God. And then, no, 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 no. Let's be practical. But what is more practical than the word of God? What is more alive than the word of God? That is the deception that is being handed over to us. 
we think that there are certain things that is about the Bible, but other things, no, 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 we can't find that in the Bible. But it was out of the word that everything else that you see, everything else you've heard about, it was all out of the word. I pray that the scales of our eyes will be broken. Any skill on our eye, as we, as we enter a time of prayer, let it be broken in the name of Jesus. No, it, 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 the deception is okay. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. The deception is okay. When you want to talk about anything, oh, when you want to talk about politics, oh, where in your Bible are some? Where in your Bible? What else is Bible are some? And now it has even gone to a place where, oh, let's, you are telling me, oh, I want to do business. And I'm asking, have you prayed about it? Now there will be a prayer. Amen. I saw someone say to their last I said, oh, we are sending this here, eh, tatashi kakra. Tatashi, no, it has to be in the word. Amen. As I said, tatashi, no, it ran me as the Bible says that the kingdom we are in, it suffers violence. And the violence will do what? Take it by force. So the violence itself, we are the violent people. We, we are the violent people. We, we don't just break things and destroy things. No, but we do that on our knees. We legislate on our knees. In prayer, we change things. People of God, don't be deceived that the word of God is a cake. That the word of God is old. Living by the word of God is something that is so old. And many of us are now living our lives by, some of us will go as far as Google, Google. You are having a an issue in your relationship, then you type, you are asking Google. When a man is angry, what should I do? Meanwhile, the Bible is there. You, you, you wake up in the morning and you can feel a lot of fear in your spirit. Then you pick up your phone. Just because you have bundle, you go to Google. How do you deal with fear? Meanwhile, the word of God has already said, I have not given you the spirit of fear. So when you wake up in the morning and you feel fear around you, all you do is that remind yourself what the word of God says. When we have an issue, we pick up the phone. We want to hear everybody else, but we don't know what the word of God says about it. And it is a deception from the pit of hell. And so Bible said, dress up in your armor so that you'll be able to fight and stand against the schemes, the deception of the enemy. He doesn't want you to read the word. Let alone believe it. Some of us have read it, we don't believe it. Some of us can quote the Bible back to back, but there is none that we have a testimony of. See, if you are here tonight, when you move out of here, go and look for one word and say, God, the Bible says your word is quick and it is alive. Let me see it fulfilled in my life. Some of these things we talk about, let me share this testimony very quickly. I wasn't born again, I was in essence. And apparently the lady, I thought I had found a good friend. And I come from a very humble background. So mature box, you know, is Gary Shito, um, Sardine, then Richoko, um, Coke. <laughs> and then you're done. And she had conflicts and Weetabix and, you know, all the Dada B stuff. Apparently, the girl was actually um, in occultism. And she had to rise to the next rank. I am telling you this so that you will know that the word of God is quick. Some of us, our very lives are hanging on the word of God. So she had to move to the next level in rank and she had to produce a sacrifice. She had to bring someone for sacrifice. And because I like food, I was her, her best, 
you know, op option. To cut a long story short, because I wasn't born again, if any prophet had walked up to tell me this and this and this, I wouldn't believe it. But God had to reveal it to me myself. To cut the long story short, I had to go through a series of deliverance. And one of the things that I had to endure was about four months. Four months. I can't sleep for five hours. Whenever I lay down to sleep, I don't know if Obi or how Munukum Achichiro and Demoda good. Consistently for four months. If I slept, I had people who were seated by me. I try 30, 40 minutes. They had to wake me up in prayer. Because whenever I sleep, I can see my spirit moving. And I could just be going and going and going. Let me not bore you. One day, one of the SU girls, I was still not a, a born again believer. One of the SU girls came to me. Because me who said about 4, 4 p.m. Then I, I become, I, I become um, sad. Because I did be sad. And that my, my nights were too long. Hallelujah. She came to me and said that, do you know that the Bible says that God gives his beloved sleep? And so I pray that God will give you sleep. Instantly, it didn't really hit me till it was about nine. I could feel my body was tired. I, I, wanted, to, I wanted to have at least two hours of sleep. And there was no, nobody could help. And I said, okay. Someone said a word in the Bible to me. That God, you give your beloved sleep. I want to see this word at work in my life. I may not, I just want to see. They, they, they are telling me that I should put my faith, my confidence, my hope and my trust in this word. I want to hold on to this word. That can you give me sleep? They say, I am your beloved. I don't feel it, but I want to trust that this is your work. Can you give me sleep? That day I slept for two hours. And nobody had to wake me up. I woke up myself. People of God, the word of God is true. I don't know what deception the enemy has sold to you, but the word of God is true. The word of God is still at work. It is bringing people miracles, signs, and wonders. Now, when you read Psalm 119, the verse 36, I just want to link it to why we need to fight the, the demon of deception. Psalm 119, the verse 36, David prayed a prayer and said, Incline my heart unto your status. Incline my heart unto your word. And I check the meaning of incline. It just means that let my heart bend towards your word. Let my, my heart, let there be a free frequency. Let there be a free flow that my heart will, will just yearn towards your word. Because when you don't do that, when you don't incline my heart, when you don't move my heart towards that direction, the Bible says the heart of a man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? We are looking for other things. My heart will seek for other things. But this is my prayer. Incline my heart. Let my heart bend towards what's your word and that is all the prayer we are going to make tonight that God let every scale we are going to put two prayers we are praying that any scale of deception any scale of deception let it fall off that let me come back to the place where I know that everything everything that I look for everything I am searching for is in the word of God are you here tonight oh can you come a bit closer Please come closer and let's, let's have fellowship. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Enough about human wisdom. Enough about human experiences. They are good. They, they motivate us. But where we really need to go to is the source. 
and it is the word of God. Your praying, your first prayer is that God empower me unto prayer this morning. Empower me unto prayer. The Bible says that there is a spirit that make it intercession in us with words that groanings cannot utter. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Empower me unto prayer. Empower me on to prayer, Lord. Empower me, empower us, Lord. up your right hand you want to pray earnestly that God let every scale of deception fall off let every scale of deception fall off everything by the word of God any inquiry I need it's in the word of God whatever wisdom I need whatever direction I need it's in the word of God you are praying that any scale of deception that has been sold to you let it fall off tonight in the mighty name of Jesus shout it in the name of Jesus oh I said shout it in the name of Jesus as I lift up my voice and I pray oh God, oh God, let every scale of deception fall off in the name of Jesus. Let my eyes be open. Let my eyes be open in the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice. Yeah. 
Oh God, let every scale of deception fall. Let every scale of deception fall. We will seek your mind about every issue. We will seek your mind. We will seek the word. What does the word say about my finance? What does the word say about my marriage? What does it say about my ministry? What does it say about my children? What does it say about my temper? What does it say about the decision I'm about to make? Lord, let every scale of deception, let it fall in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring us to a place where we inquire of the word, where we inquire of the Bible. What does the Bible say? What is the Bible's opinion about what the step I'm about to take? Let every deception that has been sold to us, let it fall. Let it fall. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Every scheme of the enemy 
every scheme, every scheme, let it fall right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Lift up your two hands. Just like David, we are praying, God, incline my heart to your word. Incline my heart to your word. Let my heart bend towards your word. Let it yearn. Let it desire your word in the name of Jesus. Because if you leave this heart, it will desire all kinds of things. It will follow after things. It will look for other things. The Bible says there were a group of people, the, their hearts were filled with dead men's bone. But we are praying that God, let my heart be inclined towards your word. What's your word in the name of Jesus? Lift up your voice and begin to pray. It's a prayer you want to make endlessly. It's a prayer you want to personalize in the mighty name of Jesus. Incline my heart to your word, Lord. Incline my heart to your word. Incline my heart to your word. Let my heart, let my heart, let it seek your word. Let it seek your word in the name of Jesus. Incline my heart to your word, Lord. Ipaluwa tapa, ipaluwa tapa, ipaluwa tapa, ipaluwa tapa. 
Shata, Afane Mekaba, Ipalu Atata, Ipahantone Mekaba, Ipalo Shata. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We bring this heart before you. This heart that is sometimes desperately wicked. This heart that is sometimes so deep in materialism. This heart, Lord, we bring it to you. Incline it, Lord. Turn it, Lord. Redirect it, Lord. Let it yearn for your way. Let it yearn for your way. I want to read some of the versions. One says, incline my heart unto your word, Lord, and not to covetousness. It means that any time our heart is not inclined to the word of God, we end up being covetous. Another said, let my heart be turned to your unchanging word and not to evil desire. The more we stay away from the word, the more we are filled with evil. But tonight, God, have mercy. Turn our hearts, Lord. Turn our hearts. Turn it around. Back to your word. In the name of Jesus. Another says, turn my heart to your laws, not to greedy gain. In the name of Jesus. Another says, turn my heart to your decrees and not to material gain another says direct my heart towards your written instruction rather than getting rich in unhidden ways turn my heart towards your status not to selfish gain lift up your right hand with me it's our prayer Lord it's our heart desire our desperate cry that you will turn our hearts to your word. Let your word be our desire. May we yearn for your word, Lord. May nothing satisfy, nothing satisfy your word. In the mighty name of Jesus. May we think about your word. May we meditate on your word. May we dream about your word. May our passion be directed towards your word. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Surumi asa siyefu Uti kukron Ria my soul was Amen. Who said? Who did So was
Long chronic Call my tired in Above open, the town you want here. Oh, I see Naiwa, Kosaya Balaba. Let the focus be him. I see Naiwa, Ron Croniso, Amanto Shama Mama Bama Maya, Maraba Soba Ya Barado Shaya, Rapanta Basaba. All over this place, crawl, 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 anywhere, anywhere, Rati, yeah, the Soraba photo, you must say, crawl, crawl, hey, crawl, crawl, ah, crawl, crawl, hey, and yeah, crawl, crawl.
Yeshua 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 as we gather together once again in this place the Lord would renew our passion for him I pray that 
he would build us up to all that we ought to be I pray like in Luke chapter 24 and verse 45 the Bible said that Jesus Christ touched their brains and give them understanding to understand the scriptures I pray that he will touch us let our lives not be the same oh, Father we thank you we are grateful we enjoy being with you it's not a sacrifice it's a privilege thank you Lord in Jesus name Amen can you put your hands together for Jesus hallelujah praise God hallelujah you don't want to sleep at all hallelujah you don't want to sleep but you want to tell somebody that I'm encouraged when I see your eyeballs when I see your eyeballs <laughs> hallelujah you know we want to be each other's keeper when you realize somebody is dozing off <laughs> shake the person a little hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah there is a way to stay awake it is also in you responding hallelujah praise God hallelujah <laughs> we are blessed we are blessed once again oh you know there is enough space here so if maybe you are not getting a good spot you can come around you can come around you know we've done certain things right from school and psychologically it's affected us it's like the front row is not for some people <laughs> I don't know if you've realized it but please you want to feel free hallelujah I've seen many places that we say God is here but we still detect the pace If God is here, we must allow him, right? Because he's either the head of the body or he's no other part. Do you get me? If he's in a place, he must be Lord. Hallelujah. So you want to allow God to move. Maybe somebody stood up about three hours ago to go and rest and you realize the person is not back. Where is your brother? <laughs> Where is your brother? Hallelujah. We, we bless God so much. We bless God so much for this morning. We are humbled to have. <laughs> Today, somebody came to ask me <laughs> what time would Pastor Jeshron come? I said, hey, senior, <laughs> you, have, you have missed Papa already. <laughs> but how many of us were here last month? Were you blessed? Are, are you sure? Are you sure? Oh, I can't hear you. How many were here? Was it good you came? Are you sure? When, when we finished, I was just thinking about the message. I went back to play. It's over and over again. And I realized that there are certain messages that the Lord intentionally sent his servants to bring to us and in my life I can document that particular message as one yes and I believe the word of God has medicinal value hallelujah it, it's able to cure us sometimes it will come like an ingestion but we must allow it hallelujah the day you are above the word of God that day you cease to be a believer hallelujah hallelujah so we are honored we are humbled once again to have a father for suggestion here and please listen to me listen to me I've mentioned that there is a way to receive men of God you know many people have just recited benedictions they thought they shared it 
They even thought they received it. But no. There is a focus that is needed. There is an attention that is needed. There is a heart that is needed. There is this love that is needed. There is honor. Honor that is needed. I mean, when you mention even a scripture, I know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm learning. Hallelujah. Because sometimes John 3, 16 is mentioned and you think you've read it 15 times. But the explanation that comes proves to you that you don't know. Yeah. And I pray that tonight we open up ourselves to God. Anything the Lord wants to tell us, Lord, it's okay. He's not just interfering. He's not just intervening. It is also okay that he interacts everything. The Lord should have his way. Do to us what only him can do. Family, please join me once again in all honor, in all humility, and let's receive Pastor Chesron. Oh, what a blessing. Hallelujah. Amen. I feel the, the love, the warmth, the reception and everything. But can we celebrate Jesus tonight? Can you lift your hands to the heavens and begin to speak in the language of the Spirit? For the next five minutes, Malaba Shadabaha. Lado Shadamagodo Stabai. Lift your hands to him if you don't mind. Come on, speak in the language of the Spirit. May the Lord have His way with us this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Shadabakapaya. Just three more minutes. Speak in the language of the Spirit. You cannot have enough edification. Lift your hands to him one more time if you don't mind. I want to be where you are. 
dwelling in your presence feasting at your table surrounded by your glory in your presence that's where I always want to be I just want to be I just want to be with you I want to be where you are dwelling in your presence feasting at your table feasting at your table surrounded by your glory Father, hear this song. That's the prayer of our heart. The man of God just said that being here is not a sacrifice. It's a privilege. We thank you. We bless you. Help us all. Help us. Holy Spirit, help us. In Jesus' name, amen. Please take your seats. Uh, and remember, I take your seat and not take your sleep. Amen. Amen. Ask your neighbor, are you going to sleep or not? Just, just let me know your plans for the future so that I can help you. Amen. Ask another person, do you feel sleep around? Uh, do I need to help you? How do you want it? A knock, a slap, or just... Which kind of help do you need from me? Hallelujah. Amen. I count it a great joy to be here this morning. Anytime I'm coming here, I'm pretty much excited. Um, I, I'm not going to say this for empathy or sympathy. But I had to come here straight from the hospital. My daughter had been admitted at the hospital. But when I was leaving and coming, I mean, I left somebody there. My sister is there. And uh, when I was leaving and coming, I just told God that I remember many years ago, you told me that when I take care of what is yours, you take care of what is mine. And I even remember that that child was given to me by him. And I said, so I'm going to take care of your other baby. So I'm leaving this baby in your hands. But beyond that is also because this is a place I also love to be. I look forward to being here. Even when I'm not speaking, I follow what goes on here very, very, very well. Because I believe that God is doing something awesome in this generation with this work that has been raised here. And so I want us to together put our hands together and celebrate the leadership of this ministry. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All manner of things are going on in my spirit, so I just want to settle. Allow me a few minutes. Let me settle in my spirit as to where this service is going. One of the challenges of attempting to be a vessel of God and not an artist or a preacher. Someone say, hey, you can do everything. I say, I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me because I am not, um, I'm not an artist. I'm not a gospel artist, like guest artist. Do you understand? It's not bad. There are some that are very great gospel artists. They are doing amazing things with it. I'm not a preacher. I'm not a carpenter too. <laughs> Amen. And I'm saying I'm not a preacher in a certain context. I'm not a 
uh, an artist all of that that I'm saying is in a context amen the reason why I say that is that I've come to a place where I see myself as a vessel a tool in the hands of the Lord and if today he wants to use me to arrange the chess I'm willing to do it amen if tomorrow he wants me to play the keyboard and if I can play and I have the skill for it I will do it amen if the next minute he says yes Ron, I want you to be the driver of the ministry I should be able to do it and I believe that that's where God has brought most of us that we are at a place where you are malleable in the hand of God that you don't have a profession with God do you understand because the day you become professional there are certain things you'll be above doing I fear that day do you understand I fear the day when worshiping and preaching and all these things become a profession for me I think that's the day I begin to die amen that's the day you become useless in the hands of God because he can use you for just about anything can you lift your right hand and say Lord use me for whatever you want oh come on say it to him do you mean what you're saying Lord use me and so tonight we will allow God to use us for whatever he wants to do tonight we're ready we're open amen I hear you were blessed last month when we're here amen I'm your, your 2 a.m. apostle, the apostle by night. But it really works for me because on the first, at first Friday of every month, we have a half night in church. So it's even more convenient for me from there. I usually will come here. And so it works for me. Amen. I love it. I love to come here at 2 a.m. Amen. Amen. It's a very difficult slot, right? That's the time when people are tired. But God will help us. Amen. Father, help me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Romans chapter 10. Romans chapter 10. Hmm. Say, ye me my. I sit in Romans chapter 10 beginning from verse 1 Make your bota kasi me kwandani Bosumwe rad ni ma
Amen. Romans chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. The Bible says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. Verse 2. I can testify about them, watch this, that they have zeal for God, but it's not according to knowledge. Somebody say zeal. Somebody say knowledge. Because they, they, they disregard the righteousness from God and attempt to as, as establish their own righteousness, they have not submitted to God's kind of righteousness. Verse 4. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Moses writes about the righteousness that is from the law. The one does the one who does the things will live by them. But the righteousness that comes from faith speaks like this. Do not say in your heart. Verse 6. But the righteousness which is from faith speaketh on this wise. Say not in thy heart, who shall ascend into the heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall ascend into the deep, that is to bring Christ up again from the dead. But what, what, but what saith it? Watch this. It says the word is near thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart that is the word of faith which we preach somebody say the word of faith that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus and shall believe in thine heart that god raised him from the dead thou shalt be saved for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation for the scripture says whoever liveth on him shall not be ashamed and i pray for you that whoever is here that's believing on god may you never be ashamed amen for there is no difference between the jew and the greek for the same lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him now i'm coming to my message now for whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved verse 14 how then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed and how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard and how shall they hear without a preacher someone say a preacher and how shall they preach except they be sent as it is written how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring bring good tidings amen but they have not all obeyed the gospel for Isaiah said the lord who believed Isaiah said, Lord, who has believed our report? In verse 17 says, that's my last verse. So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Somebody say faith cometh by hearing. Faith by hearing. Amen. 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 I know from last month till now we've been talking about the word of God. Um, tonight, if you are sleeping, I will not attempt to wake you up because uh, <laughs> I will not have too much time for that. I'm bringing you a message. You can put a title, Preach the Word. If you are writing, Preach the Word. I had an experience on Thursday morning in my house when one of my daughters came to visit with us of course we were planning something and she came to visit with us and we we're discussing something and it just occurred to me that the week before 
I had a vision about one of her friends who would once a while visit our ministry and visit some of our meetings. Please follow me very carefully. And so I asked of the person, I said, hey, where is this your friend? He said, hey, Pastor Jesh, I've been meaning to tell you this. I said, what is it? He said, you will not believe that if, for example, if the person's name is Georgia, you will not believe that Georgia is now a Muslim. I said, is that a joke? Like, what do you mean? I said, Pastor Jess, do you know what? I've actually said in my heart, I was going to tell you this a long time ago. So I said, okay, can you put, quote unquote, Georgia on the line? And we called the said person, codename Georgia. And hello, hello, Pastor. How are you? I'm fine. Um, it's been a while. Oh, yeah, we're around. You know that kind of attitude. They don't want to talk to the pastor. So I said, I've heard that um, there's been a change in your religious perspective. You know English. Yeah, you know, now I'm a Muslim. I believe in Allah. And she went on and on and on. I said, you know what? I'm pleading with you. I just want one lunch date with you. So, Pastor, what are we going to discuss? I said, I just want to understand where we went, we went wrong. For which sake you left us. Take it as an exit interview. I'm not going to attempt to convince you to come back. All right, it's fine. If it's a religious conversation, I'm for it. Millennial English. I said, okay. So, listen to me very carefully. So, look at your calendar and let me know when we can have that lunch so I can hear your reasons. But the long and short of it is that this lady has been moving around churches, ministries, and her heart and her soul is looking for some answers that she's not finding. And she has, seems to have found the answers she's looking for in life in Islam. And yet, my regret is that this lady hung around us and I started asking myself, what were we preaching the days when she came? So I called for the list. Said, check the days when this lady visited our meetings last year and this year. And remind me of what I preached or who came to preach and what we shared with them. Because for some reason, she came into our meeting, but we did not satisfy the yearnings of her soul. And she went out still hungry. Could it be that in the midst of the abundance of flood and water and the word and all the great ministers that come here, that we are not offering answers to the questions on the heart of our generation? Could it be that we're raising a generation that is on fire for God, but there is no light emerging from the fire? Fire is supposed to produce two things. It's supposed to produce light and it's supposed to produce heat. And, and there are some ministries you go into the ministry and there is a lot of heat there's fervency I've come again you know right so don't worry lost you feel the fervency you feel the fire but there is no light light refers to illumination people's questions are not answers answered the yearnings of their soul it's not me how come there is so much religious Christian activity, there is so much programs, and yet Islam is the fastest growing religion in Ghana today? Our 70 to 71 percent thing, eh, eh, I will explain it to you. I read it. So yesterday, I read a, a report by the American government on uh, religious freedom in Ghana, and they were saying that there's 70 percent of us Christians in Ghana but the point is that out of the 70% Christian for example if you take the population of Accra we should be I don't remember the last time I checked but do you know that put together there's not up to 1.5 million out of about 6.5 million or so that reside in Accra and its environs there is not up to 1.5 million who attend church on a Sunday so there are people who feel Christian on a form, but they do not have Christ in their heart.
Can I go ahead or it's too early or too late for this? Can I go ahead? I was pushed to study Romans chapter 10 after my encounter with the lady because I started weeping when my, my young girl left the house. I said, God, what, where are we going wrong? I told her, I said, we've lost one. One down. How can she? I know she was in it. I'm, and I'm not, I'm not shedding responsibility. She wasn't really like a member member. Her friend, for example, you have a friend here and once in a while you follow them. But I felt that after being in our meetings a few times, they should have encountered Christ in a way. Did, my question is, did we present Christ to her and she didn't take it? Is there a problem with the message we are preaching? I've been just questioning myself and God says, okay, open your Bible, go to Romans chapter 10. So I started reading Romans chapter 10. And at the beginning of Romans chapter 10, you find, I don't want to go into the, the history of the text because it's going to take too much time. But from verse 1, you find that Paul is talking from Greece and writing to the church in Rome and he's saying that his heart desire is that Israel and his prayer is not just a desire but it's a prayer that Israel will be saved and it's very interesting that the Apostle Paul is calling on Israel which is the special nation of God to be saved please hear me carefully listen to me carefully tonight uh, I may, not, I may not have too many jokes. So you may have to, we have to go the hard way. Shall we? If I get one, I'll drop it, but let's go. Okay. And, and the Holy Spirit opened my eyes to the text and was saying that can you imagine that the special people, the quote unquote royal priesthood of God is being prayed for to be saved. And the Lord said, does this sound like the modern day church where there are people who are in church but they are not saved? There are people who are in church but they do not know Christ. There are people who have a relationship with a religion, who have a relationship with a group, a fellowship, but they have no relationship with Christ. And Paul goes further in verse 2 to say that these people, they have zeal but they do not have knowledge. And that's what gives further credence to what I'm sharing to you this morning. That there, there could be most of us who are zealous for God, but our zeal is not backed with knowledge. We, we, we are full of activity, but the word of God is not the basis, the true word of God is not the basis of the activities that we embark upon. I'm not talking to somebody at all. Zeal zeal without knowledge he said for i bear witness that they have a zeal for god they want to do things for god but it's not according to knowledge it's not according to knowledge and the holy spirit began to compare israel to the church today a church with a lot of zeal and rituals and activities but not based on the right kind of knowledge that leads to salvation of the people involved in the activity and the people around them. And the last time, last Sunday, I was in a program and I asked, I wonder why we have most of these programs, but there are more people out there than there are more people with us. We must begin to question ourselves. I'm still speaking on your theme, the word of God, because yes, the word of God gives us direction. Oh, he opened their eyes that they may understand, they may comprehend the scriptures. And, and this is the generation that seek thee and seek thy face. This is Jacob. All of those things are amazing. All the great revelation. But ladies and gentlemen, the truth of the matter is that everything with regards to the word of God that is given to us, is given to us so we can also give it to other people. The word of God is there to instruct, to, to reprove, to rebuke. But the word of the God is there for us to also preach it. And if we must preach it, then we must preach it right. Somebody say we must preach the word. Oh, please, please, please. Can you say it like you mean it? And you see, if, if a person is talking to you about zeal and knowledge, and that person's name is Paul, who was Saul of Tarsus, be careful. 
because this was a man who could kill for what he believed in you understand what i mean until he had a damascus encounter with god also could it be that we are killing for things that we do not even understand we are stepping on people's toes and offending people now this is amazing i know this will not be a popular message but hear me it's amazing what people can do to be successful in ministry One day a young man came to me and said, uh, Papa, they said there's some leaf. When they put it on your eyes, you see. Is it in the Bible? Also, do you know the leaf? Do you know about Have you heard that thing before? You, you need it. When you come, you will see everybody's phone number here. Because people are crazy about doing things for god and not looking for god or pleasing him according to his word a zeal to be successful a zeal to be known and, and it's very interesting in ghana the mobile when they get a few likes on instagram when you see them around <laughs> i get excited i observe a lot i've been here i've been doing guest worship for 10 years but it's like i'm not there I'm around. I've been watching. Coming and going these several seasons. Do stay what? On the baobab tree. I've been watching. And one of them just said this in passing. One of the reasons why our revival tarry, tarries in Ghana or so forth is because Ghanaians get satisfied too early. And in the next five years, prophetically, there is a window that is opening up over us. If we do not have ready men, it will take another decade or even more than two decades for God to open that window for us. A revival for Africa is beckoning through this nation, is beckoning on this nation. But I'm, I'm wondering if there are people who are ready to let go because you can't carry what God has when you are full of yourself already. Zeal, ambition, without the right kind of knowledge. I pray tonight that God will save us from ambition. I said, may ambition die inside you. You won't say amen, I'll say it for you. I said, may ambition, ambition, your own ambition, like I want to be. Someone said, Pastor, I said, program. I said, program. Why do you want to do the program? Um, you know, there, there, there's somebody in our church, he, he did a program, and now everybody. And when we come to church, he's the one that's leading the song. So I want to do a program. So when you do a program, you become an artist. Then you become important. Then when you go for programs, you get a front seat. Is that not it? Why are you people? Cano Gray. You don't observe that. That if you release a single, no, I hate. Then they say, you work after. <laughs> oh, you don't wear kaftan. The ladies, what do you wear? The lady ministers. You wear like a long dress. And they have a certain way you walk. And you are happy. What kind of knowledge is Apostle Paul talking about? That he's putting in contrast to zeal. Apostle Paul is talking about the knowledge of the gospel. And tonight, I want to help us go into what exactly the gospel is. The knowledge of the gospel of Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, I'm, I'm going to talk about preach the word, but let me just take you through this for the next few minutes because it's very, very important to me. Hear me, write this down. The gospel is a simple message. Don't complicate it. write it also the reason why many people are falling off our faith is because we have complicated the message for them and we'll get there 
Paul said that these Jews or Israelites they are ignorant of God's kind of righteousness I'm breaking down the components of the gospel he said people cannot come to Jesus without the right information about the gospel but information alone is not enough to save anyone there must be a radical submission to the righteousness of God putting away our own righteousness and the works of the law so anything that makes you feel like you are contributing towards God's grace on your life anything that makes you feel like you are doing well is directly against the gospel interestingly that is what we have eating into our spirit and that is what we are selling or preaching to people so can I give you an example so it makes it simple so a seed like this and you will get this or oh, if you fast for this number of days you will do this these are the things we have sold to people and now when they do it or if this man prays for you to sow or if you clean somebody's if you clean somebody's shoe with your face towel and clean your face you will get the job why am I feeling alone here Oh, I should stop I have another message it's called <laughs> the power of a blessing <laughs> should we go there so can I, can, I have a lot of messages here I can't switch the gospel of Christ the message we have been sent to preach of mercy, is not based on you don't have to do anything to be saved of your own righteousness he said you just have to believe with your heart and confess with your mouth. You read it. He said, the word of the Lord is near thee. It is in your mouth and it's in your heart. But we are not preaching this to people. We are saying, come to Jesus and you will prosper. Come to Jesus and you will pass your exam. Come to Jesus and you get all A's. Christians are the people. Am I, am I preaching something that's not in the Bible? Christians are the people who get all A's. But like I, you know, for some people it will be, they feel like it's a weakness for a pastor to say that your daughter was sick. Because just a few days I've prayed for other people's children, they have been well. <laughs> I, in my life, by the grace of God, every week I see healings every week I receive every other minute or something I receive testimonies all around but the good news is this that yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death my momentary affliction is not enough it's not worthy to be compared with the glory that is yet to be revealed in me so I will go through afflictions but still Christ is with me am I talking to somebody at all am I talking to somebody at all <laughs> does this excite you so the message is simple but we have to be we have to emphasize on the radicality of focusing on the finished work of Christ on up for the people we have to show them that look Jesus has already done the work just believe it what this is what we call the good news <laughs> the good news is that you don't have to do anything but it's very interesting also when I hear modern day preachers I it's amazing you know you know to the we want to go into the ecclesiastical and methodological and you hear statistics a bit of statistics a bit of harvard a bit of gimpa it's all mixed together and we want to complicate so you saw gimpa to the person and gimpa knowledge the wisdom of men was meant to fail so it will fail them along the way there are many people in our churches in our ministries who are disillusioned because what we promised them we have not delivered Uh, 
the grace of God, if you find anybody sleeping, we will escort them to rest, to the restroom. All days are not the same, amen. Today, there are no jokes to keep you alive. This is a hot message. So, if you are sleepy, we can, I, I, I will not grouch you at all. I will not have any issues with you. Just rest and come back for the next session. Do you understand? So, you come back refreshed, amen. Paul shows Israel's lack of knowledge and says that they are ignorant of God's kind of righteousness. And I'm saying that, I'm relating that to the church today. I'm relating the church to Israel of the time. And the church today that thinks that we can please God with our works. And the righteousness he's talking about here is not just referring to moral righteousness because they didn't have a moral problem. But the challenge is that they believe and taught people that they can please God by obeying the law and thereby rubbishing the finished work of Christ. Mark chapter 7 verse 13. It says, thus you nullify, watch this, the word of God. You nullify the word of God by the tradition that you have handed down. There are many people who are more engrossed in their religion. They are more engrossed in the success of their group than what God is saying. They are more engrossed in the success of their ministry and their ministry being noticed than Christ being noticed. Anytime you see yourself being more projected than Christ in a ministry, you are not preaching Christ in any way. Whether you are singing or talking. Is somebody hearing me? So now Paul begins to talk about the contrast. Let me do this quickly because I'm going to go to preaching the word of God. But I'm trying to explain to you what the gospel is. He begins to establish the gospel as the righteousness of God and he contrasts it from verse 4. Go to verse 4. He will contrast it with the righteousness of man. He says, for Christ is in the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. For Moses writes, the righteousness which is of the law, the man who does these things, shall live by them so there are a set of things that you need to do and you live by them but the righteousness that comes by faith speaks like this watch this it says you don't need to you do not need to say in your heart who will ascend on high and bring christ down from above or who will ascend into the abyss that is to bring christ from the dead but what does it say it said the word is nadi. It is in your mouth and it is in your heart. See, the word is in my mouth and the word is in my heart. He said, this is the word of faith which we preach. Jesus Christ as the end of the law. Watch this. He's saying, Jesus is the end of the law for those who believe. The law ends, works of righteousness, ends for a believer in the sense that our obedience to the law is no longer our basis for our relationship with God. Our ability to do certain set of things, to pray, our ability to organize programs, our ability to be zealous, it does not account for the kind of righteousness we have with God. The God kind of righteousness is bestowed on us. And this is the message we must share with the world. Also, they don't have to be like you. They don't have to speak in tongues. They don't have to be able to organize things like, you know, sometimes there are some people who can't even go to some churches because if you, if you are not as a certain financial standing, you can't attend certain churches. Am I lying? If we don't start, as difficult as these messages are, if we don't start preaching these things, eh, we will become counterproductive. I wonder what it will be in the next 20 years. It's a very interesting situation. There's strong meetings, there's strong activity, there's strong zeal, but because there is not right knowledge, we are losing as much as we are gaining. It's like playing a football match where you, you, you score four and they score you four. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. How many of you are sleepy? <laughs> Amen. Amen. 
the righteousness of faith is based on Jesus. We didn't have to work to get it. It was bestowed on us. Somebody say, I have the righteousness of Christ. Come on, say it. I have the righteousness of Christ. Say the word of God is near me. It's in my mouth and it's in my heart. So how is God's righteousness gained unto salvation? And I know you know these things. But I'm sharing them as a reminder to you. Because I'm going to talk to you about the essence of preaching the word of God. But I'm not going to create a constitution. Oh, let's go and preach. And then like we are revived to go and preach. And yet we don't know what we are going to preach. Because preaching and speaking the word is as important as speaking the right word. When we go out there, we are telling them that Christ has already finished the work and he has handed it over to you. Hit somebody on the shoulder and tell them Christ has finished the work and he has handed it over to you. So from verse 9 to 13, he says that, he says that if we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, then you'll be saved. So, confessing with your mouth is your sense of agreement with the finished work of Christ please follow me carefully confessing with your mouth is agreeing with the finished work of Christ when we confess Jesus as Lord we agree with what God has said about Jesus and what Jesus has said about himself it means that we recognize Jesus as fully God the man that walked on the face of the earth is fully God and was fully man now he lives in glory what making intercession for what for us and now we believe in our hearts that Christ raised him from the dead and believing in our hearts is not just a mental agreement, but he's speaking about our hearts, not referring to the organ of the body, but a sincere admission, a sincere conviction that God raised him from the dead. Believing does not happen at this level, at only the cognitive level. Believing happens on our inside. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. He said, for with the heart, one believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, we confess to salvation. The, the two together, believing or professing and confessing, result in righteousness and salvation. Wow. This is a difficult message. Is this a difficult message? Is this a hard message? Is it difficult to understand? So why are we preaching fire and brimstones? Am I the only person who has noticed? Maybe I know it's not here, but I'm, 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 I'm telling you this and I believe God sends me with these kinds of messages for you because of the kind of thing that God is doing with this movement. Also, when I got here at the car park, I was telling my son, that anytime I come here, I start praying for the young people here. Because also, would you know the truth? They will not be here forever. There are some people, they will be marrying buggers. And they will go. I was telling her about how one of my most beloved daughters is in Europe now. And where she is, like, she married somebody in Europe and she went to Europe. I love this lady. One of my most committed people. One of, and she left. How are you? Some people will go to school. But what would we have planted in them? So if they find themselves in Russia, they'll still hold on to their faith. So these years with them is crucial. We can't afford to just make you jump and receive. We can't afford to, we're down in the Holy Ghost. Ah, ah. It's very great. It's awesome. I love it too. But we can't keep doing that only. How many of you agree with me? We have to impart right knowledge along with our zeal. 
and that is what we have to go out there and preach somebody say preach the word oh come on please shout it and say preach the word so it is very simple Jesus came he died he lived he died he resurrected he seated in glory and if you can believe this my message in your heart confess with your mouth and you are saved this is the gospel and oh, there's something I've left out so I'm asking us where from all these things you know uh, when you want to talk about the the sun you know the, the stone in the sun represents the the oh my god huh do you feel it right now <laughs> The message is so simple. And there are some of you here who feel you cannot preach because you don't have the revelation of a certain preacher. That's not what you were called to do. Let me just hasty my word and go because if I get into what I'm getting into. <laughs> Please, I wrote this here. We should not ignore how scandalously simple this gospel is the simplicity of the gospel makes it almost unbelievable <laughs> that is our biggest problem it is too simple to believe do you know it is actually a reason why we don't share it Jesus came and that is boring <laughs> is it not so you want to say some things and then people come in your midst and they hear wild things but Jesus is not planted in their heart they hear wild things semantics and rhymes I love it because Paul said we speak of wisdom among the mature among the perfect but you see sometimes when i'm not too sure of my audience i will keep it safe by keeping the message of the gospel jesus came he lived he died he resurrected he seated in glory he's coming back again i said jesus came he lived god came in the form of flesh he lived on earth he died there are records of him living on earth he died he did not live in the grave forever my savior rose again and he ascended on high and now he's seated in glory i don't know what else you want me to say to you but tonight i have no other message i said the message is simple the message is simple there is no deeper revelation than this jesus god incarnate in a man mary was not impregnated by another man mary's boy was god God lived with men, Emmanuel. He lived and died. I know some of you are waiting for me to say some wild thing. So it's a wild passage you can preach. But that's not what I was sent to do today. Today I, was, I came to tell you, let's get back to the basics of the gospel. The complications are too much. We are losing men on the ground. It's like you are in a battlefield and you want to roll your gun before you shoot. Meanwhile, the enemy is already shooting. And all we are doing is just all those acrobatic skills with the gospel. Acrobatics. Oh, tonight we're going to speak about the, the effulgence of the mystery of, of Barasha. Something. Then it's like, what are you saying? And like, you know, when we say Bura. It means the boo and the ra. So someone says say boo and say ra. Say boo, say ra. Say, and then boo, ra, boo, ra, boo, ra. And then we are done. And there are people who are with us, but they have no sense of knowledge with God. We have grown their seal, but we have never grown their knowledge. Tonight, I don't have any revelation. I just came to announce to a life with him. And if you really want to live with him, speak about him and speak about his simple message of he came he lived amongst us he was without sin he died he died he overcame death for us 
and he rose again and he rose and ascended on high he seated in glory making intercession for us and he will come back I wish there was another way to say it I wish there was a deeper revelation to this or something but the simplicity of the gospel is too scandalous that many of us cannot preach it it's too simple it's too simple it's too simple it's too simple I I heard a song somebody had written Jesus there's something something encumbrance some I said you can see an attempt to be deep and a wild attempt to be deep you know some years ago I wrote a song on the mountain of Zion there's a healing stream healing stream healing stream Jesus Christ is the healing stream. somebody told me uh, but the song is too simple it's too simple and do you know the truth I felt down for a long time I couldn't even sing the song because a great artist Ghanaian went to write it is so simple what, what is like I should say more I said I wish I had more to say all I had I was on a flight to Nigeria and I heard the melody and he said to me I didn't write that song he said on the mountain of Zion there is a healing stream Jesus Christ is the healing stream I wish I could explain it in I don't know maybe I should have written a French version of it or a Latin or a Greek version of it I don't know what is wrong with our generation there's a problem I don't know what to blame this afternoon I was thinking about it. I said is it Americanism I was going to preach Jesus said forget it whatever the causes go and tell them that the message is simple it is too simple it's scandalous let me say something scandalous do you understand Paul said this is the message you all we need to do is to believe we can turn the gospel in all its ramifications and revelation this is the simplicity of it whatever you say if it doesn't end on this and the response is believe with your heart confess with your mouth whether you bring oil salt banana carrot direction if you don't believe in your heart and you don't confess with your mouth and if we don't preach that we have not preached I'll say that again for free if I'm going to preach today's message if you don't invite me here again I'll be glad but I know you will I know you will do you know why because this message they assemble bro and they assemble bro but I didn't say it to spare assembly. I'm telling you what I, I wish somebody can read the, the writings on my heart I'm telling you what God said to me he said just watch this thing you guys are going too far and I came to tell you we are going too far we are becoming too complicated with a simple message praise God so let me talk to you about the necessity of preaching tell somebody preach the word I salute you sir look at verse 40 also look at verse 40 everybody look at verse 40 Romans chapter 10 begin to speak in the language of the spirit help us to return to the word the simplicity of the gospel it is scandalous it's almost unbelievable but they don't have to believe us praise God may call Abashiah May God raise men and women who don't want to sound it, who don't want to impress anybody. They just want to talk about Jesus. He came, he lived, he died, he resurrected again. He's living in glory, making intercession. He's coming back again. This same Jesus, who you see ascending on high, is coming back in the same fashion. This is the gospel. This is the word of God. This is the word of God. The word of God. All the law in the gospel Hebrews 1 God who in time past and
and a sundry times spoke to us by his prophet has in these last days spoken to us by his son by his son Jesus is the finality of the word of God <laughs> Jesus is the conclusion if your message doesn't end there I'm sorry you are doing your own thing if your song doesn't end with Jesus and you take Jesus out so you can win some awards you are out of the game Jesus. Don't compromise the message. I know we've been dissecting the word of God. But he said I should tell you to preach the word. Too. And he says I should tell you what to preach. Preach him. Preach Christ. Preach Christ. He came. You will hear this a thousand times today. I bet you. He came. He lived. He died. He resurrected. Oh. Uh, uh. If the princes of this world knew, they would not have crucified our king. Because even though they put him down, he resurrected. Could it be that there are some amongst us who don't believe that Jesus resurrected? Is that the reason why it's hard for us to say? You see, when you see something, eh? When you see something, you don't explain it. I'm saying it again. When there's something you have seen with your eyes, you don't even have the words to explain it right. Because there's something called conviction. Do you know what, ladies and gentlemen? God did not call us to explain him. He called us to proclaim him. God did not call us to explain Jesus to the world. He called us to preach. I'll show you. For the first time, I wanted to go according to scripture and it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. So, Paul now from verse 14, put it there for me quickly. Holy Spirit, help me. Also, if we look at that. Paul now is drawing a correlation between the souls won and the word preached. He says, how can they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Tonight God will raise a preacher here. And how shall they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful. How beautiful. Oh, I said how beautiful. How beautiful. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace. And bring like tidings of good things. Please watch this. We see a cycle established in this scripture. Please put it there. How can start from verse 14? Please quickly. Let me show you the cycle. 14 and 15. Quickly. Look at that. How can they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? Go to the next verse. And how shall they preach except they be sent? As written, how beautiful are the feet. Now, if you really want to understand this text, you actually want to work the cycle from back forward. So it begins with sending. Then there is preaching. Hear me carefully. Then there is hearing. Then there is believing. Then they become. We are sent. What are we sent to do? To preach. When we preach, they must hear. When they hear, they will believe. When they believe, they will become. So these are five essential activities that will lead to the mass salvation of souls in the end time. 
but check this there's sending there's what preaching number three hearing number four believing number five becoming out of these five or it's only one we have been called to do preaching one over five times hundred twenty percent the remaining eighty percent is between God and the hearer but this twenty percent is so difficult for us to do he sends us you didn't send yourself He's the one that says. Then we preach. Even that cry. <laughs> he preaches through us. Then they hear. So I'm going to go through these five elements. Number one is sending. Mark chapter 16 verse 15. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. John chapter 15 verse 16. Let's start from Mark. Listen. There are two types of sending. There is the gen general sending and there is a specific sending. The general sending says, and he said to them, all of them, go ye into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Understand here that all of us have been sent. I'm going to say something that may challenge you a bit. You don't need ordination and a clerical to preach the good news. I'll say it again for free. I say you don't need ordination. Because all these months, you have been doing the word of God. Oh, shh, revelation, revelation. Go and speak what you have heard to somebody. You don't need to put on color. You don't need a face towel. I've come in the fullness. You don't need to come in the fullness. can you believe that we have become like the Israelites who are so jealous of their position in Christ they are so jealous of the law that when the truth and the grace came they couldn't <laughs> some of us are so jealous of what we have that we don't even want anybody to be part of it there are some of us we fight for our denomination so bad that Jesus, we have bled the lines. Jesus can no more be seen. All we see is you and your pastor. My pastor said, you have never quoted Jesus before. I'm not saying it's wrong to quote your pastor. But the day your pastor replaces all Jesus' quotes in your life, there's a problem. It's good to quote men of God. I quote my spiritual father too. But I make sure that this word of truth and this simple message is prominent in my conversation. He said, go ye. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. Go to Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. Matthew 10 16. Matthew 10 16. I'm going to show you something right now. Behold, I send you forth as sheep among wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpent and harmless as dove. This is also a general call. But in Acts chapter 3, we see that Bible says that while they gathered and prayed and worshipped, the Holy Spirit said, separate unto me Paul and Barnabas for the work of ministry which I have called them. That is a specific call. And hear me, not all of us will have that specific call. But the word of truth, the word of faith must be preached. In your office, it must be preached. In the Uber, it must be preached. In your church, it must be preached. After two months of study, how many months have we been studying the word of God? The whole year. Two months. After two months of the word of God, all these great men coming here. If, you are, if, if it's not coming out of your nose and your mouth, there's a problem. What did you do? What and two did you are behaving like my son Theophilus. He can eat everything in the world, but you don't see where the food goes. We must see the word coming out of your ears. You, you shouldn't sit in an Uber and be comfortable without sharing this good news. Otherwise, also, that's why I started from where I started. We must check what we are telling the people. 
Because sometimes we are giving them revelation to no avail. Revelation to nothing. We reveal nobody is seen. Or the only person that is seen is that when they finish preaching, we clap for them. Say, ah, this guy is good. And Jesus is not retaining their minds. Jesus is not retaining their hearts. Oh, wow. He quoted Aristotle in church. We're clapping for him. Quoted Shakespeare. And you know, Socrates said, and when they do that, you see, there are these boys in church, and one day I'll beat one of them. When the Holy Ghost leaves me, uh, anything the pastor says, Shaka. They, you even finish the sentence. So, and I heard, oh, shh, shh. We have become redundant because the word has not been planted in our hearts. The day the word is, hey, this word of truth is so powerful that when it hits you, you go. Check the woman by the well. Hi! The day she had an encounter with the word, she dropped her bucket. How come we are not dropping our buckets? How come we are so comfortable? We come into a powerful meeting and go and write past suggestion. Wow, today you brought fire. And we are okay. Wow, Pastor Isaiah, glorious. Oh my God. Joe Metal. And after writing on Facebook, there are people in your neighborhood who are unsaved. You were never able to share the word with them. And you are comfortable. It's either me and all the names I mentioned are not singing or preaching the right things to you or there's a problem with your heart. So I hope I'm doing well. The parable of the two sons. I've explained to you two types of calling. So don't get your calling confused. If you don't get the privilege of being put on a, 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 a clerical, and that's the new thing that has come. Everybody's adding pastor to their name now. I'm a Jeshua Christ when you be pastor Jeshua. Everybody. Pastor. A generation that is excited. about doing rather than being we want to occupy positions but we don't want to be if you are a pastor if you love me feed my flock if you love me obey my command that is what will determine whether you are a pastor or not do you know the meaning of a minister a minister is a servant if I were you I won't put it on me if you are not ready to serve you think minister, minister Shadrach is a post. Even in the five-fold ministry, there's no minister in it. So where, where, is your, your, where is your calling? This thing that makes you feel important. I saw a young guy who couldn't get a front seat. A young guy. And he was standing outside the program complaining that the ushers saw him and they didn't give him a seat. Minister. Minister Okunoko. I think my thing is coming. I should, it shouldn't come. It shouldn't come. So I should go there where I'm going. Minister Okunoko. Are you preaching? When was the last time you preached to somebody? You don't remember. Were you here last month? You were not here. Did you watch it? Yes. Did you, what do you hear about the word of God? Sorry, I'm just speaking on you. If you were, if the word revealed Jesus, when you see his glory, watch in scripture, every Body that had an encounter with Jesus the first thing is they bow in worship at, at conviction the next thing is that they begin to talk about the next thing is that they are willing to leave everything behind Peter the fish that he caught he left it and followed what did he follow to do to go and talk about Jesus to others why is it that we are hearing so much and we are saying there is either a problem with the soil of our heart 
I'll come there later. Or there's a problem with the message being preached from the pulpit. I don't know which one. There's the parable of the two sons. I want us to look at it. And I see where you are. Matthew 21 verse 28 to 32. Very quickly. Matthew 21. The parable of the two sons. Jesus said, what do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first one and said to him, Chumesi, go and work today in the vineyard. And Chumesi said, I will go. He answered. But he later changed his mind. I'm going to show it to you. And did not go. Verse 31. No, no, so, sorry, please. I'm reading wrongly. Please, sorry. I'm reading the second son for the first one. 29 said, I will not. He answered. But he later changed his mind and went. Verse 30. Then the father went to the other son and said the same. And he answered, I will, I will. But he did not go. Which of the two sons, watch this, did what the father wanted? The first, they answered. Then Jesus said unto them, Truly, I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering into the kingdom of God ahead of you. Sister Mauritia are entering into the kingdom ahead of you there, church people. There is the group that when they come into a meeting like this, they are edified. When you are preaching, Kuraka, oh, it's like, yeah, we will go, we will go. The moment they move their Uber out of here, they are done with God. But there's another group out there who say we won't go, but later they change their mind. And Jesus said, these people, they are entering the kingdom, tax collectors and prostitutes, they are entering the kingdom. Listen, if we don't take care, God is going to ignore us and start raising the soap. People we call secular, people we call worldly, he will start raising them and they'll be preaching the word because there's the agency of the word. The time is too near. God cannot wait for us to dilly dally with him anymore. Tell somebody preach the word. You have heard so much. So that's about sending. We have been sent. The next phase is preaching. So the sent person now becomes a preacher. And I've told you that the message is simple. So you don't have to be complete. Like what I'm teaching you, is it, is it difficult? Is it deep? Is it deep? It's not deep. It's, it's, it's simple. Go and preach. And see, or see, how shall they believe? How shall they go except they be sent? And one of me breaking down my ego. Five hundred much to and I'm in church and be a back back. Do you see you can preach? No, do you see you can preach? I know, I know. Some of you have to rewire your psychology again. Because some of you have even been taught to feel that you are not there yet. You don't need a microphone. You don't need to be on radio. He said, go and preach. When I send you, what I send you to go and do is to preach. First Corinthians chapter 9 verse 16. Yet, when I preach the gospel, I have no reason to boast because I'm obligated to preach. I'm obligated. He said, woe be me if I do not preach the gospel. Woe be me if I don't preach the gospel. This is Paul talking. I perish if I don't preach. But this is the generation that prospers when we don't preach. We'll choose a program over a soul that is dying. We'll choose a zealous activity over sharing the knowledge of Christ with somebody. We'll choose being on the flyer. If it's not on the flyer, some of you, if it's not a flyer program, you won't pray, you won't come, you won't go. If you like call a prayer meeting on the park. You won't come. If it's not air conditioning, lights, stage, that's where your anointing, your anointing comes when it sees lights. LED lights. <laughs> he said if my preaching is voluntary then I have a reward 
But if it is not voluntary, then I'm still entrusted with the responsibility. Verse 17. But the most important phrase there is, woe unto me if I do not preach the gospel. What is the meaning of preaching? Number one, write it. To preach means this one. Write it. To proclaim. That's why I told you earlier that God did not send that. The Americans say, you'll be here, you know, and preach something deep and let's, and let's pray. Let's, let's worship. Let's feel we are in the spirit. You don't love that more than me. <laughs> But there's a whole lot out there perishing. Part of our responsibility is not just intimacy. Intimacy must yield productivity. Intimacy. Anytime anybody knew anybody in scripture, there was a child out of it. You are the only person who knows God and we can't see your products. God has not been able to impregnate you. You and God are using a condom or something. It's like you are sterile. What kind of generation is this? As gross as that sounds, that's the simplest explanation I can give. We know so much about God, but what has that produced? Lift up your two hands. Talk to him. Send me, I will go. Send me. Who now will pray? Say, I'm proud I just feel an opening in the spirit. Just pray to him. Tell him you will go. Send me, I will go. There must be people who are willing to leave your corporate jobs and go because he has sent you. God is sending some people who will go.
Hold on. There's this one. Oh, there's this song. This. So when I was man, I've forgotten this. I've forgotten this song. But oh, the song just came through my heart a few seconds ago. I think it's by Esther Nyamiche or of those old songs. It's okay, let me move on because I don't even have time. What I'm saying is this, please hear me. Yeah. What I'm saying to you, you understand it in a few years. It's okay, it's okay. Go home and sing it. It's very interesting that many of us love being under our father's armpit that when he sends us we don't want to go. I was telling you preach means to proclaim, to announce or to declare. What does that mean? When we preach Jesus we proclaim what he has already done to the world. So you see that the work of a preacher is like the work of the man. Follow me carefully. Watch me. Everybody watch me. The work of a preacher, if you are not watching me, you are sleeping. The work of a preacher is like the man in the parable of the sower. Actually, anytime you see God talking about the word of God, he's using the analogy of a seed. Because preaching, the work of preaching is just to proclaim, to announce, to broadcast. TME, you are not responsible for the growing of the seed. As a preacher, God has sent us also to go and broadcast. He said, a sower went to sow. So he threw it. He threw it. He just kept broadcasting. He just kept preaching. And some fell by the roadside. Some fell among thorns. Some fell in a rocky uh, side. Some fell in a good soil and grew and generated a hundredfold and so on and so forth. Listen, the work of a preacher is to announce the gospel. Is to proclaim the good news. At best, when the good news is proclaimed, hear me carefully. When the good news is proclaimed, the word of God which you are brooding upon for the past two months, when it's proclaimed at best, when the people have now heard and I'll come there, listen to your word and they have become born again Christians, they have come into sonship, the next thing you are given to do is to disciple. So Paul said, I planted and Apollos watered, but it is God that gives the increase. The reason, let me give you another diagnosis. The reason why many of us don't preach is because we assume the role of converting the believers. 
a work that is the preserve of the Holy Ghost. He said, when he comes, he will convict you of sin. The one who convicts people is the Holy Ghost. Now, when I preach it, and they don't respond, it's, you didn't. You were not sent to go and preach for response. So when you read the parable, you don't understand. You think that the sower is a fool. He saw rocks and threw the seed there because that was his work. The sower's work is just to announce. That's why one day somebody was telling me that why are people why are people still doing dumb broadcasting? I said you don't read your Bible. I said now the whole thing has moved to Facebook. I said you are mad. The work of a preacher is an announcer. And anywhere you can announce it, announce it. Anywhere, anytime, anyhow. Is somebody following me? Is somebody following me? Or someone, well, my time is up. Please signal me. I'll cut this wherever I get to. But this point of preaching has to be underscored. Is somebody hearing me, please? And, and listen, I, I wish that my heart would be seen by all. My heart is that our generation has received so much in giftings, in talent, in activity, and in zeal. And it is about time we go out there and give a bit of what we have received. And that is the work of a preacher. Praise God. Let me hit on the other ones quickly and then we'll go hearing. So now, there's a preacher that is hearing. And there's a great mystery here. Like I was telling you, anytime God is also talking about a preacher, Paul says, pray for me and also for my hearers also. Watch that the Bible never uses the word listeners. Because there's a vast difference between hearing and listening. It is not your job to make the people listen to you. Your job is for the people to hear you. Hearing is when there's a resonance in their ear and their physical senses pick it. Listening is when the message enters their mind and their heart. And they understand it. Understanding comes at the level of listening. And that is the work of the Holy Ghost. Is somebody hearing me? So you see, preaching has been made so easy for all of us. And this was the problem of Jonah. Jonah thought that he would not be listened to. But God didn't call you for people to listen to you. God didn't call you for people. Listen, I know this, my message is against the trend of the generation. Osofo, I know. I know we are in a generation that likes validation. And I'm telling you, you can never go far with God if you always look for the validation of men. We are in a generation, especially in Ghana, our kind of hero worship is Ghana does not permit two heroes at a time. This, this, <laughs> this country does not like two heroes. Like, Shadrach and Am Nanamwa cannot all be good at the same time. They love Shadrach today. If tomorrow they see Nanamwa, they are done with Shadrach. So if you love validation, this is why many people have, loved, have left the ministry. Preachers and singers alike. Because the day your validation ends, you have a sense of feeling that you are not even worth anything before God. But listen, God does not measure your workings with him by the validation of men. He, he works, he measures you by what he has asked you to do. And what he has asked you to do is to go and preach. May God empower you to go and preach. I said, may God empower you to go and preach. I'm going to leave it here. The next thing is believing and calling, becoming. And I was going to talk to you about what and how should I preach. When you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 1, from verse 1 all the way to 8, you find it there, write it and go and, go and find it later. It talks about, when I came to you, 
I did not come to you with the enticing words of men's wisdom. But I came to you in the demonstration of power. Can I tell you something? Rise on your feet and let's pray. Also, God didn't call us to impress anybody. I don't know if you heard it I said tonight, but always remember that the message is so simple. It's so simple that it's scandalous. I saw my Pentecost apostles. Say yes, <laughs> Every crusade, the same message. There was no, there was no who deep, but their numbers kept multiplying. <laughs> they have built something that has test, lived the test of time. I'm really thinking about our generation with this our Harvard things. And our over obsession with Greek and Hebrew, which we ourselves sometimes do not understand. Our over obsession with excessive revelation. So, you know, the stone means a rock, a rock means hardness, like gaping. Then, I just, Masa. talk to him I think says I message with you 2 a.m. now never because I'm about to to him when you're me 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 first because we all love to be loved though. we all love to have variety but the message he gave us is one Watch me. First of all, dash me 10 minutes. Can you do that? There's something I heard is so demonic, I'm telling you. It's called need-based Christianity. Do you know what they are doing in America now? They research and find what the members need. So if there are like a lot of business professionals in your church, then most of your messages will be good. There's only one commodity we are selling here. That commodity is Jesus. And his advert is one. Me nim so yo wa weni. Me die me nim so yo wa. Oyo ya risa. Fujifu. Father, help me to preach the gospel. Help me to sing the gospel. It, is, it, it may be boring, it may be difficult, but I want to be a preacher. Of the gospel. And the gospel only. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
Lift your hands to him tonight. us back home picking up our megaphones may we do evangelism phone calls calling string numbers and telling them that we want to share the word of God with them can you open your mouth and talk to God I want to go I want to go I want to go and I want to preach Christ lift it I want to preach Christ only Enticing words of men's wisdom. Jesus is the message. Jesus is the word of God. Father, help me. Father, help me to preach this word. As I hear the word, as I listen to the word, as I brood on the word, as I hear revelations upon revelation, help me to also be a preacher. Let my revelation lead to a proclamation of the word. We have too much to sit in our rooms and be celebrating church. It's time to step out and preach Christ. The simple message. The simple message. The simple message. The simple message. Lift your voice. Oh God. I'm going back. Into the highways and the byways. Makota bakapaya batapaya. Makarada shade desh. Kola bando stemaya. Zidi miki posh. Holy Bada Mason Desire Ranga Dibini on the Stame Pro Tata Pro Tataya Kora Dada begin to lift your voice and pray in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. Just lift your voice. Help me, O oh God. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Help me, help me, help me. I don't want to be a hero. Help me to proclaim you. Also, we know what the Lord is telling me. Shh. Just cut it. The Lord is saying that there are some of us who have been entangled with the philosophies of men. 
Adia no. What is But you know what God is doing for somebody today? He's about to format your heart. Because a man cannot give what they have not received. It is of what you have received that you give. And many of us have been hearing certain things. They are great, oh, but they are secondary. But I pray that you major in the majors. God did not call us. You know, people say, my calling is to raise billionaires. And how many billionaires have they raised? My calling. Ask for me. I know the Lord has called me to. I don't want to say some things. There was a whole ministry in town some time ago that was called to raise billionaires. To today, none of them is a billionaire. But this way there, this simple message there, this mystery, it can make a billionaire out of you. I pray for everybody. Lift your hands and stretch it towards the altar. Any entanglements that hold you back from preaching the word, I pray for you tonight. And I pray for me as well. Anything that has made the gospel sound so complicated in your head, that makes you feel like you must have a pulpit, you must have a collar, you must have a kaftan, you must dress a certain way, you must speak a certain way to preach the word. I disengage you from that thought. I disconnect you from the tendency to want to entice people with the word. He has sent you as a broadcaster. May you receive the discipline to say what he has asked you to say and go away. And leave the rest to him. For those that you will plant, when you finish planting, may he bring men to water. I pray that God will give us this discipline. Not to overengage and be doing what we have not been sent to do. Say, you know, I want to keep the people. So now I'm a, I'm a relationship expert. It's good, but it's secondary. You have been called to preach Christ and Him crucified. First, any other thing is an addition. May God give all of us this discipline. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hear me. You may be here. You have lost your fire. You have the fire. You have the heat. But you have lost the light. You may be watching me. You are a Christian. A member of this ministry. But you know that you don't have a strong relationship with Christ. If there is prayer adventure. Anybody like that here. Please lift up your right hand. You want to rededicate. You want to say God. I really want to live afresh. I want to start afresh for you. Lift up your right hand. If there is anybody here. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Also, please join me. I want us to stretch our hands and pray for these people. Please go ahead and pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we stretch forth our hands, oh God. Oh no, God, your vessel said right now, we decree a revival, a revival, a revival. The word says we should remember from whence we have fallen. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ for a revival, an awakening in the name of Jesus Christ. Let strength be renewed in this body in the name of Jesus Christ. All the things you used to do, all the depths you used to go, in the name of Jesus, begin afresh, begin anew in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, if the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, if it shall dwell in you, it shall revitalize our mortal body. Receive revitality in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for your visitation. We thank you for your awakening. We thank you for this rising unto consistency, even with you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Oh God. Uh -huh. 
Take the thoughts he gives you gladly. Let his work your pleasure be. And so we when he calls you. Here I am. Send me, send me. Hug the voice of Jesus calling. Who will go? Oh, family. As we look up all around the fields, okay, at the circle, and harvest waiting. Can you imagine? Harvest waiting. Who will bear the sheaves away? Loud and long day, master call, rich reward, he offers freely, who will sound gladly saying, Bless you greatly, Pastor. What, what do we say to, to Papa? What do we say to him? Please stretch forth your hand. Father, we thank you. What a blessing. Preserve him, Lord. Keep him. Lord, we are grateful. We are grateful for his life. We thank you, Lord, for all you are doing with him. That this world shall hear truth. The truth of your word. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, for even giving him to us, even this day also. We are grateful. We are grateful. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know what? What Paul is saying is, is, is quite serious. It's quite serious. You know, as we live in Ghana now, you, you would think that the place is evangelized. You know, because of all the things we do, you might think that like so many people have heard of Jesus. I shared a story of being in a village and asked someone that, Unim Yesu, Osimiba Kromu Hanche. Do you understand what it means? It means that you can go to the chief's palace and go and ask because I'm a new tenant here. And yes, sir, on Tini Dimpoda, you'll be amazed. You think that it is even in Bunkrugu Yoyo, but just in Accra here, people still have idols. That's right, Jamestown. Kwabenya. So, family. Please, this is a, a, oh my God. I'm, I'm stirred up. This is a serious word. That we need to hold on to and run with it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hundred years to come. It will not matter any car anyone drove. I tell you. It will not matter any certificate we held. It will only be heaven and hell. That's all. And you can't miss both. No, no, no. And amazingly, the place people will be actually will be dependent <laughs> on the decision we made to preach Christ. And I pray that God does some editing. So, Papa, yes, sir.
Oh, hallelujah. You, you want to put your hands together? Oh. So family, you know, we are not taking another ministration now. You want to sit down and speak to God. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm saying. Please, you take your seat. You don't, don't worry. This, this is the next ministration. Just, just sit down and speak to God. It can be five minutes. It can be ten minutes. Please, let's do so. Sometimes after hearing this, we are always in a hurry. Then we let it go. Then we do something else. What is stopping us? Papa made a profound statement. He said it is either the message we are preaching is wrong or our hearts are hardened. When the missionaries of old were coming, some of them came in their caskets. They came with it. They packed their clothes in their caskets. Some of them, they actually bid them farewell, not goodbye. Oh God. I don't want to fail you, Lord. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for tonight. Make a resolve in your heart. Make a resolve in your heart. Make a resolve in your heart. Oh. You see what the media did to us? They just started amplifying the crusades of Reinhard Bonke. But little did we know that when he started, it was not so. It was in school. They didn't show all of that. The times he gathered men and nobody came. They didn't show it. But when they became millions, they showed it. Do you know why? Out of those millions, they will buy those newspapers. They are doing business with us. God, if it is true, it's okay. I would go. I would go. I would go. Henceforth, that land shall be my home country where I shall be most used for God. Papa asked that. So all the word we are hearing, it is true. Where has it passed? What have we done with it? In our build up to this, this, this particular edition, one of the scriptures the Lord gave us was Acts chapter 2. And you know, when the Holy Ghost came upon the church, Peter referenced the book of Joel. Peter, where scripture said that in the last days I shall pour out my spirit. Peter said what is happening was what Joel prophesied. Then I asked myself, if Peter's days were the last days, then today cannot be called a day. We are in the last seconds of the assignment. Family, if we even close on this notice, okay, I, I tell you, I tell you, there's a world to take for God. When we stand before Him, we realize that there are things that really matter. I want to go, Lord, and tell this world about you. I want to tell this world that you came, you came, you came on this earth, you lived. What a simple message. Forgive us for our complications, forgive us for our complexities. Oh, forgive us. In our quest to make it complicated, we shrunk the impact. Oh, where we missed it. Ah. I want you to speak to God. 
I realized that what Papa is saying, it's like when we are ever dreaming, it doesn't come to our mind. That when the Holy Ghost actually comes upon us, it is not a billboard. We shall be his witnesses. Oh. Lord, tonight we come. I want to preach. I want to preach you, Lord. You may wait to me right in. You may wait to me right in. You may wait to me right in. I'm convinced that this thing is simple. See, I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Our response is yes. When your spirit speaks to us, we are yielded. Should he lead us anywhere? Ah, my yada vasale nesese. We are yielded. One of the villages in the north comes to me. A place called Song. And Papa, they had gathered doing church. And there was no preacher. So when they meet, they dance. All of his ministry life. Is there a greater evangelist like Billy Graham? Why is it so hard? I wish that we had an open forum. Why is it so hard for us to preach? I, it just came to me that okay, okay. So if Billy Graham just preached John three sixteen his whole life, how is it so difficult for us to preach? How is it that a church is gathering and there is no preacher? Because of what we have taught them as the word of God. To whom did they gather? How, what did they hear before they gathered? 
how can't one of them repeat what they heard and they be edified by what brought them together perhaps there could be one person amongst them who didn't hear what they heard who could have changed I'm asking God for help but I'm asking God to help our generation listen Chum, this thing you are doing here is a lifesaver and I pray for you and your leadership may God preserve this work may God provide for this work may God protect this work from the mouth of people I pray for you Chumisi may God strengthen your shoulders may your forehead be stronger than that of your enemies when we talk about a remnant I sense strongly that God is raising this work as a remnant but you see as loaded and as blessed as we are such will be our judgment also unto whom much is given much is expected some of the best worship leaders and best preachers in this nation are going to visit you today yesterday and today are you going to go home and just be there like that life than this for me there is nothing more what Papa was sharing about the evangelist Billy Graham on John chapter 3 verse 16 in, in a village called Babriga in a northern region We preached the word of God from John 3 16 and an entire community came forward to give their lives to Christ and when they came and were about leading them in prayer the chief said hold on there are some of them in the farm now we want to go and call them to come when they come Present the same John 3.16 to them. What you just told us, tell them. I realize that there, you can't preach and have any other illustration than the, like, the Bible, is, the illustration is the example. Like, you can't say, you can't say any other thing. <laughs> Those are the places that you, if you don't depend on the spirit of God, you, you can't say anything. And you wonder how they even understand what you are saying. Family, this gospel is powerful. Today, as we fellowship and leave this place, oh, there is a well to take. Is it okay that we pray for the church? Can we pray for the church that the Lord visits us, our eyes be open to this truth? Let there be an invasion wherever we are to this truth. We have been satisfied too early. We, we, we are too content with, with our state. Oh, Malene Messiah Balana Mataya. Ko Baba. Lord, as we have heard, Lord, let it not remain here. Lord, give, give, give these words wings. Wings to reach the rest of the world, the rest of our brethren. The agency of the times. The agency of the times. 
sabaya da basaya balaba ya balada sale ko shabaya da basa sada balabla da basa ko shabalaba ko shabalaba da basa baba sada balabla da basa ya bakosha La basha da balabra da basa balaba, fada balabra da basa balabra da basa balaba, ayada da da basa balabra da basa balaba, ayaba da da ba. Just our neighborhood, Lord. Just our friends, our family. We've left them. Lord, 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 open the eyes of the church to this harvest. Oh, Shabala da Basaba. Amazingly, we have rebranded harvest. When we say harvest, we are talking about another thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yabana Masayaba. Iba Balaba Suna Masai. Rabatu Masan Tenemesa. Rabai Masurabada. Rabada Sa. We have given account of everything. Oh, but the souls we have won. Oh, we have check dresses to show. Ayabadabra. We have membership cards to show ayabe no saba rabada basaba oh shima yatese rabini misai oh kima bai 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 rabasaba yatai open us to truth 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 of what's on the heart of the father oh Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What you are Yeah. 
give the message that was confounded to the wise. The thing that was spared to the wise that has been made available to us. If we do not go forth and preach it, then God has wasted his time putting the wise aside to pick the simple, like you and I, if we do not go and preach it. What ya sempane in tenya, ya safu.
Siokufu Oriku Oriku Naba Echo Nyame Orifre Missy what ya sepane in Zanya Nyan Safu We ya tray A Sepana Yedia in Zanya Safono if we do not go and preach it it is like what God has done no see please calm down listen to this God in all his wisdom decided to confound the wise and the result of him confounding the wise was that we decided to call it nonsense that God looked at the wise and said no I shall take the message to the simple and preach it into their hearts so the kings of this world they could not understand that one person could come die on a wooden cross and bring salvation to thousands they could not understand the simplicity of it and when the wisdom of God was brought to our level we looked at it and said but what you are saying where you are train me me hey I said I know where the I don't know it has cut me so much I don't know about you but there's not it seems like there's nothing better to sing about now more than salvation and souls maybe your story is different but it has cut me so much because there were people in my class that were Muslims and I I oh they, 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 it's their decision there were people that sat by me for one year and I never for once even brought it up because I, I felt they were okay. But eh, I know Enya. I sing it wrongly again this morning that there must be something wrong with me if I if I sing it wrongly again this morning then I, I, I there must be something wrong
maybe you are like me when this thing was going on about sharing the word see some of us have been in church and church movements and things for so long I can bet you Joshua and I may have shared something on Romans maybe Nana and I may have spoken about Matthew but I don't know if you've thought about it when was the last time the person sitting by you in class or maybe your workmate even told the person that do you know there is salvation in Jesus alone as I was sitting there I was like okay I'm going on a trip today a trip with people I don't know people that are even bigger than me in the work that I do so will I uh, boss please Jesus loves you how am I going to do it I was just thinking about I don't know but I believe in the practicality of it how am I but when I remember what the Lord has done, maybe that's my message. I will never go back anymore. When I remember what Jesus has done, when I remember how he shed his blood, how he saved me, I will never, I will never, hey, if I don't We all have different salvation stories. But I know when I was three years ago, three years old, doctors declared me dead and I was taken to a mortuary. I was there for a number of hours. Then medical students came and said, Okay, since I've already passed, they want to try an experiment with me. And then my mother said, All right. She was walking in the ward and praying. And they were trying their experiment because she's already gone. They did what they could do. All my mother knew was prayer. No, I cannot disgrace my mother's God. At three years, my mother's God spoke for me. If I don't have any testimony, I know that Jesus, who's dead and who, who the one who rose again, is the same person that is making me alive. Maybe I don't have any testimony. All I know is that I met a man called Jesus who heals men. Who heals men? Maybe that's all I know. the fact that he came he lived he died he rose again he seated in glory has done I will never go back Slow. I don't know as I sat there I was like oh help me Lord because somewhere somehow I have to do this help me Lord help me help me I, I have to do this help me Lord help me I don't know if, if you can ask God for help help me Lord help me I must do this so help me help me Lord help me Lord You want me to be 
Cause God, I came here with nothing. But all you have given me, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Because the old message I was preaching was too skillful. Make me your vessel. Make me an offering. Make me whatever you want me. I came here with nothing, but all you have given me, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, bring new wine out of me. We sing Jesus, Jesus, bring Flesh is stale. The difference between fresh and stale oil is that one speaks of Jesus and one speaks of the flesh. So Jesus, bring you out out of me. Please cut me through and through. Jesus, bring you out out of me. Oh Jesus.
bring no eye out of me. In the crushing, you are making new wine. In the soil now, I surrender. You are breaking new ground. So I yield to you and to your perfect hand. When I trust you, I don't need to understand. When I trust you, I don't need to understand. When I'm confident in your promises, I don't need to explain your gospel. So don't make me your vessel. Yeah. want me cause God I came here with nothing I came here with nothing but all you have given me Jesus bring new wine Jesus bring new wine can we cry it for the last time Jesus Jesus bring new wine with a keyboard can you cry from without the keyboard, can you cry it from your heart? Jesus, bring me sums up my message for today. Hallelujah. In the breaking, in the crushing, Jesus is making new wine. How many of you know that the Lord is breaking you every day? And how many of you are enjoying the breaking process? How many of you are truly enjoying it? <laughs> Oh, it looks like outwardly we are wearing away, but our inward man is being renewed day by day. Where this affliction, which is but for a moment, is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory. The reason why we are sitting here this morning is because we don't look at the things eyes can see because we know that they are temporary hallelujah but our focus is on things that the eye cannot see and those are permanent amen we thank you holy ghost we thank you holy ghost thank you holy ghost give me eight you Jesus we honor you O Lord and we thank you for your presence Lord 
give you understanding even as you sing this song Sayen kukwa Odin sempano E hinta enyan safu Na weji ya Sayen Haino enya Apu Thank you for the light. Thank you for illumination, Lord. Thank you that the scales are falling off our eyes. Sing with understanding. I'm on for a fun Kayeni Chefa. Why are you mine? You're so cool. I'm a joy. I'm cool. In she ran. I'm on for a fun Kayeni Chefa. Why are you mine? You're so cool. I'm a joy, I'm cruel, Shiranka. Can you lift up your voice and say, Hey, Shiranka, Nidhi. And you, Nyamka, can you sing with conviction? Why am I? Just sing to him, just sing to him. And you know, can it be? Why are you my fro? Did she run? Yamit, yes, yo. Hallelujah. 
sing to the Lord. Shando 
The word made flesh. He's alive in here.
worship him. Da. Hallelujah. We give you glory, Lord. And you know that our songs have been archived in the heavens. Hallelujah. The songs we sing, they have been archived in the heavens. That on the on the on the third, today's the third. Oh, certain young people stood in one room at Tantra Hills and declared, I'm a best me die. And the Lord is going to give you strength to stay in there. Oh, the Lord is going to give you grace to stay in there. Oh, thank you for grace. Thank you for tenacity. Thank you. When you read Psalm 119 verse 9, the Bible says, Wherein shall a young man keep his way pure? By taking heed according to the word. You see, your longevity in this race, your, your ability to stay in unabatedly, or your ability to, 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 to endure this journey depends on how much of the word you have in you wherein shall a young man keep his way pure the bible says without holiness no man shall see the lord we shall only see the lord when we are holy and pure hallelujah but how can we do that is it by writing do's and don'ts is it by always promising ourselves because the last time i checked we don't have the ability to live right it is he who works in us to wave and to do for his good pleasure you've said it but this is the solution wherein shall a young man keep his way pure by taking heed according to the word of the Lord for the rest of my life hallelujah Your songs shall not be songs of lamentation. No, no. Hallelujah, nyom na obeto. Aye yi nyom. Kase nidie, nidie, na nidie. Ah, eni o nyom. Eseno yebeto. Yanto, yanto. Nana sem no ye personalize it e japati kese mame oh nana don ne buswa ma meda anu timu ma ye to mo ma ye to aye inyo mano nani ti nani ti sing it anyo I want us to. I had um, my way now. The Lord, Lord, what do you want me to say today? 
I don't know. I don't know what is it about the first week of the new month. Personally, for me, you know, the first week during a day with Him, it, it, it's 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 always a loaded weekend for me. But we thank God for grace. See, I'm going to tell you something that the Bible says in Luke chapter 14, I think verse 24. He says that which of you has made up his mind to build a tower in his hometown and not count the cost? I'm building up to something. You see, your decision, the Bible says that whoever desires to come after me must first of all deny himself. Carry his cross and follow me. So, number one, desire. You have to desire. After desire, you deny. After you deny, you look for your cross. And by now, every one of you should know your cross. You should know that this is my cross. And some of us, this is our cross. At the end of the day, the question we ask ourselves, what at all have we suffered? You understand? Because the last time I checked, the Bible said that for I reckon that the sufferings of this present times are unworthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed. There is a glory which shall be revealed. So much so that the sufferings we go through now are not, they are not worthy to be compared. Oh. That means the suffering we have it cannot correspond to the glory that is ahead of us. At the end of the day, we have no cause to complain. Because when Jesus is revealed, we will open our mouth and say, Hey, I have not seen, ears have not heard. Neither has it entered into the hearts of any man what God has in store for us. That's revealed, been revealed only by His Spirit. What am I saying? There's a cross for every one of us to bear, and there is a cost that we must foot. There's a price we must pay. And I believe this is what we are doing, hallelujah, and more. To sit in the trotro and then forget about our egos and whatever we've been able to achieve and our beautiful faces and all of that. And begin to get up and preach the word of God in and out of season. That is our cross. We sit everywhere. We have to preach whether they will accept it or not. We have to do our part. Whether they will tag us as, as weird tag us as people who are not progressive people who are still a cake we have to do it and that is our cross it's a message for somebody you have to look for your cross you see the journey is not easy it is my yoke there is a yoke there is a yoke there is a burden but glory and thanks be to God it is a yoke it is a burden but it is easy and light but there is we cannot deny the fact that there is. As of Kacho said, me free her. Me, me, call, me free her, me call office, because office keys were wrong. They said, me could be here for Saturday. Near pound 12. The majority of the time, 9 p.m. and you married. That is my cross. You understand? Yesterday, I got, I got to the house from, from work at 5.30 p.m. I had to meet the choir at seven o'clock when i go home i had to freshen up iron my 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 my, my, my clothes and then find supper because uh, so i see jesus once we are fasting she said me fast up like i'm gonna make call here rehearsal at seven to nine me we are not all night seven to nine and i see me through 11 o'clock with the way all night on all spin text they have to see him in them so I did that. I got there, ministered. Unto me, sorry, because I ministered. We are so tired. I can't tell you how many people are there. And I'm a sim. And I have a tantra house. We eat tantra house now. If we do, if we see a court office, because office key no kuta me. Man could be office. No office on Saturday eight o'clock. Man could be office. No. I tell my friend, so for so so for. You mean? I'm in Pengu. 
And I asked myself in the car, why am I doing all of this? And he told me, Lamentations chapter 3 verse 27, it is good for a young man to bear the yoke in his youth. See, there is a yoke. And there is a time for you to bear it. There is a yoke. The time for you to bear it. I'm telling you. The scales are falling off my eyes. And I thank God that has fallen off the eyes of my wife and everybody around us. Who, so my wife knows that I love Jesus more than her. And she understands. May the scales fall off the eyes of your father and your mother. May the scales fall off the eyes of your guardians. The other day Jesus said, who is my brother? Who is my father? Who is my sister? Who are my family? Them that do the will of the Lord. You see, and when the scale falls, I'm talk, I'll talk about the scale. When the scales, they fall off your eyes. The Lord must show you the things you have to suffer for him. <laughs> when the scales fall off your eyes, you begin to see that there is something to endure before the promise is attained. The other day, Paul, then Saul on his way to Damascus, he met the Lord. And the Bible says that his, his eyes were opened, but he couldn't see. So he was led to a man called Ananias. Ananias said, Lord, this man, I'm paraphrasing, this man, you don't know him, eh? You are telling me to, to, to open his eyes. Oh, this man has been persecuting us. You can have your seat if you will. He's persecuting us, killing us left, right, center. And say, hey, my friend, keep quiet. He's the man I've chosen. Open his eyes. Give him, restore his sight. After that, I will show him the things that he has to suffer for me. You see, tonight I'm coming to tell you that the more we spend time here, the scales fall off our eyes. We begin to see deeper. And the next thing is that the Lord has to show us the things that we have to suffer for him. You see, it's a message sometimes I don't like preaching, but that's the truth. He who desires to come after me, must number one, deny himself. Number two, carry. The desire is not enough. A lot of people have desires, but they are in the house. Eh? A lot of people, a lot of friends, I mean, who Sandra? They are Sandra still living a life of that. The desire, but that's not enough. After desire, you deny. After you've denied yourself, then you look for your cross. The things you have to bear, the pain you have to go through for Him. But glory and thanks be to God that there's a glory ahead of the church. Hallelujah. I said glory and thanks be to God that there's a glory ahead of the church. Aren't you excited? Aren't you excited that the presence of this, the suffering of this present time are unworthy to be compared with the glory? It shall be revealed. May the skill fall off our eyes. And I dare you to ask God, God, what are the things I must suffer for you? The time is now. Young man, young woman, the time is now. For you to pay the price it is good for a young man a young woman to bear the yoke in his youth the time is now hello are you here ladies the time is now the time is now for you to bear the yoke the time is now for you to spend all the time in the presence of the lord my wife always says i want to be here but if i bring my baby here scatter for here this is what an abundant thing. <laughs> I say the time is now. I'm not saying that when you get there, you have an excuse. No. But right now, the yoke is much lighter. So the time is now. Tell all your friends that the time is now for us to bear the yoke for the king. The skills will fall off our eyes as the ministers preach to us. As all the speakers come to preach, we will be seeing clearer. And as we see, we should be asking God, God, what is it you want me to do for you? 
Oh, what is my peculiar assignment? What is it I have to suffer for you? Tell him, Bwemeni mami hu, ohin kasi, Bwemeni mami hu, 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 Oh God, Bwemeni mami hu, as the scales fall off our eyes, Boyani Mayahu, or he can see Boyani Mayahu, Boyani Mayahu, Uyumani Wakwan, Wemani Mayahu, Wemani Mami, Yumani Wutsumi. I want you to lift up your voice wherever you want make this prayer. Say, Lord, what are the things I should suffer for you? Tell, ask, pray, pray. Close your eyes and pray. Close your eyes and thank God, what are the things? I know your grace. In the song that we sing, we sung. You made us understand that. Your grace is overflowing. It is in abundance. What are the things that we should suffer for you, Lord? And when we get there, remind us of our promises to you, Lord. Pray, please. Tell him, God, what are the things? Oh, Lord, what are the things? Unless a grain of wheat fall down, falls down and dies, it abideth alone. We are here tonight to die more, Lord. Oh, we are ready. We are not afraid. Because your grace is sufficient for us. Oh, we are not afraid because oh, uh, your strength is made perfect in our weakness. We are not afraid. Oh, Lord, as the skills are falling each day and each passing hour, even as we see clearer, oh, Lord, but we come into terms of the things that we have to suffer for you, Lord. We are willing to pay the price, Lord. We are willing to pay the price, Lord. We are. How many of you decided to build a tower in your home? I wouldn't count the cost. Oh, Lord, may I be willing to bear my cross and follow thee every day. God told Abraham, he said, when you read the book of Hebrews chapter 16, it said, blessing, I'll bless you. And multiplying, I'll multiply you. The Bible says, and after Abraham had endured a while, he obtained a promise. You see, there is a part for us to play. And that is endurance. But I thank God, we will endure. And the blessing and the multiplication that is in store for us will be ours. We thank you for insight. We thank you for revelation. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Would you my Miami Wawa? Would you would to me a cassette? Say, would we want one? Saint Trinis is your name, you not to rest. Would you want me? Oh, yummy, oh, yummy, would to me so. I want you to tell him. Every time I spend time reading your word, Lord, oh Lord, every time I open my Bible, Our second prayer. Our second prayer. Let's read Ezekiel chapter 3. Open up your Bibles and read Ezekiel chapter 3. Real quick. Oh, we thank you, Holy Ghost. We pray that, Lord, even as the scales fall off our eyes, but we know the things we have to suffer for you. 
Open our eyes, O oh Lord. Even as we read your word, let us not be dodging or escaping, O oh Lord, the price that we have to pay. May we love to read those parts in the Bible because the blessing doesn't come like that. <laughs> There's always a price to pay. Hallelujah. We want to pray the second prayer about the word of God. Listen to what the Bible says in Ezekiel chapter 3. He said to me, Son of man, eat what you find in this book. Eat this scroll, then go. Speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he fed me the scroll. He said to me, Son of man, eat the scroll that I am giving you and fill your stomach with it. So I ate it and it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. See, what is the taste of the word of God in your mouth? It's a rhetorical question. See, some of us, eh, we read the Bible all right. I pray that most of us have passed that level. But most of the time, you read the Bible to appeal to your conscience. Has anybody been there before? Why well, you just read the Bible to appeal to your conscience? Eh? The curse of life, the curse of life will catch you so much so that you sit in the car and then you, you open your phone and then you, you read about two verses. Just so that when you go to church or you meet anybody and say, have you done your quiet time? So oh, I've done my quiet time. In those times, the word, of, the word of God is only tasting like some, some medicine you are being forced to take. Ezekiel said, I ate the scroll. I filled my tummy. And when I ate it, it tasted like honey. We want to pray that prayer. The word. Listen, I want everybody to pray that prayer. Say, so God, when I open your the Bible, when I open the scroll of your word to eat and fill my tummy, not just eat, but fill my tummy. Lord, may it taste like honey. I want somebody to close your eyes and pray this prayer. Say, Lord, may it taste like honey. Oh, Lord. May it taste like honey, Lord. May it be sweet, oh Lord. May I desire more of your word. Oh, may it not be a burden, oh God. To sit down, oh God, and open your word and want to imbibe. May it not be a burden. May I not do it to appeal to my conscience. Oh Lord, may I not even do it, oh Lord, because I want to maintain my reputation. May I do it because I love to. May I do it because it is sweeter than the honey from the honeycomb. Oh Lord, if I sit to read your word, I pray that I will spend hours oh Lord enjoying the taste of your word the taste of your word the taste of your word pray and tell God oh Lord when I open the word of God may it be like honey oh God may I enjoy reading oh Lord may I come back again to have more because I want to fill my tummy holy ghost Mawasamunya me do. Oh, Mawasamunya me de. Wasamye me de. Wasamye me de. Sing it with conviction. Come on. Irati. Wasam. Aye me de. Come on. Sing Wasamye me de. Wasamye me de. What does it do? What does it do? Tell me, sing it, sing it. The scales they fall off your eyes. Lift up your voice, everybody sing. Wash them here, mate. Wash them here. Oh, 
we bless you Lord we bless you oh Lord that henceforth oh Lord we are going to enjoy your word and it will be like honey in our mouths father Lord we will spend time and enjoy your word oh Lord and we will imbibe it we will eat it as though Lord we are enjoying honey we thank you for your feeling I want us to sing some few songs and I, I'll take leave of you. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Holy Ghost. Can you Google Asian words and let's let's sing it. Let's sing it. Or do you have it on the screen? Asian words. Long prison. I want you to read the words and understand. For our world. In this world, there is sound, there is sound <laughs> with God's own heart. Hey! Oh, let the ancient words be ancient words.
So Lord, for the rest of the hours that we're spending here, this our posture, Lord, we have come with open hearts and open hearts. Let the Asian words impart. For the rest, oh Lord, of our hours here, this our posture. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let's be. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let's be. We want the ancient words. If we say what same new your job. If we say what same no and to me she for the rest of our time here, Lord, before what same no see Lift up your hands, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, that's our prayer, Lord. For the rest of our hours, dear Lord, all we want is you. Your word make your word made flesh. Dwell with us. We open up our hearts, O oh God, to receive from you. Every word from every speaker, every word from every musician, every worshiper, Lord. May we imbibe it, may it be engraved on the tablets of our hearts. We love you, Lord, and we know that for the rest of our hours here, Lord, the scales will continually fall, and we will see your word. We will see clearer illumination will be our portion, being as we read your word. We bless you, Lord. Asafu Yehovah, sorry. So true, we are
pianist here, you have to learn this song. Every time I come, I sing this song. So, also, you give it to them. As of you, I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry. When he's lifted, he will draw all men to himself. When Jesus occupies his rights in our lives, everything falls in his rightful place. But How I sign out, Lord. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Sing it. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Upon the beyond, 
upon the wheel, left hard water, and level, 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 rock up, 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 up. Everybody in this place, rock up, 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 up. Roots, take it, take it, take it, level, 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 level. Ibo, no, 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 pray, go shut up. Ata, paywa, paywa, atende, bende, bende, paywa, shut up, bende, 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 paya, da, 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 rock up. When you read Acts chapter 6, verse 2. Acts chapter 6, verse 2. We're going to pray again. It says, Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God. Tell your neighbor, it is not reason that we should leave the word of God. <laughs> it is not reason that we should leave the word of God. Reason. I didn't hear you. Can we say it again? It is not reason that we leave the word of God. Hallelujah. And serve tables. For some of us, we are serving tables and we have left the word of God. We are serving tables and we have, we have left the word of God. The verse 3 says, Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you, seven men of honest report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. Then the verse 4 says, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the way. Hallelujah. But we will give ourselves. But we will give ourselves. But we will give ourselves. Ezra chapter 7 is 10. Bible said, Ezra purposed in his heart to read and to do and to preach. <laughs> to read and to do and to preach. My concern here is that Ezra purposed in his heart. We see the same thing in Acts chapter 6 verse 4. They also purposed in themselves that they will give themselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. We're going to pray again. And while we are praying, we are purposing in our hearts to devote ourselves, to give ourselves, to, 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 to give ourselves to the word of God. Let your voice and begin to pray now in the name of Jesus. So you will give yourself to the word of God. You must be to see your heart. Let Teleke broke a toshe. Let Bretele break a ton of brother. Pray Catala Baba Baba in Bayata Bayata and Palua Pala Baba. To do and preach the 
It is no reason that you leave the word of God. It is no reason that you leave the word of God. It is no reason that you leave the word of God. And set tables, lift your voices, give yourself as you are praying. You are giving yourself to the word of God as you are praying. An appetite for the word of God is welling up in your belly as you are praying. An appetite for the word of God is welling up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. What's up, Yamina Apa. What's up, Yamina Sikania? Lift your voices. Oh, what's up, Yamina Sikania? Give me I see me What's up, yeah, me? That's the kind. Oh, oh, what's up, yeah, me? Let your voice and the I see me I am pa what's up yeah me that's the kind oh shremyo hey I shremyo ah shremyo asa shremyo
the more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. More and more. Come on. The more I know you, the more.
lift your hands. The more I know you, the more I want to know you, Jesus. More. The more I know you, the more. Enough for Jesus. Jesus, more. I need more of you. More of you. More of Jesus, more of you. Jesus, more of you. More of you. More of you. All of your character.
Mano Payo!